Hello everybody, and welcome to Marquee Gaming today. Uh, this is just a couple hours after our last session, so we're all kind of halfway in the zone, halfway frazzled. So. <laughs> I don't know what you're Frazzle. talking about, Mark. I am not wearing the same thing from say, last yeah. week. Wearing different uh, things. Yeah. I just wear the same clothes every week, apparently. So. <laughs> uh, but yes, this is a pre-recorded session, so if you are not getting engaged with directly, we're sorry. We're so sorry. But um, we'll be talking in the chat. Probably. We'll probably be in the chat to some level. At least some people will, I'm sure, at some point. So um, say hi to us there. But let's just do player introductions real quick, get that out of the way, and uh, we can get into today's session after all our info there, because last session was a doozy. My goodness. Uh. So, Rachel, take it away. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm frazzled. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's every player's uh, intro today. No, we're, oh. yeah, we, uh, that's what was my plan, is we're all saying it. Oh, um, no, okay, so yeah, hi. I'm Rachel. Uh, I stream art on this channel. <laughs> My spiel is. Yeah, pretend we're live. Pretend we're live like you do. Yeah. I stream I mean, this on is this exactly channel. how we announce when we're live. So it's, yeah, that's great. true. It's true. It's at 3.30 CST. I can't even predict what I'll be drawing next week. On Mondays, too. Oh, yeah, it's on Monday. That's all Every I have to say. I'm done here. Oh, and you, who do you play? Who do you play? Well, thank you. I play Karis. There you go. Shadow Sorcerer. Shadow Sorcerer. Awesome. Super clutch Shadow Sorcerer with. All our players are clutch. They all did amazing oh, gosh, things this so last great. session. So, <sighs> Kelly, take it away. Hi, uh, I'm Kelly. I play Raya the Rogue, and I'm very almost dead, as all of us are. Um, <laughs> and I'm frazzled as well, and I think my anxiety peaked at uh, around 3 p.m. today, and now it's. <laughs> Kind of getting into a nice calm, so I hope that it's going to be a calm session. <laughs> no all. promises. No promises. Okay. <laughs> just nods politely. Mm -hmm. Well, about that. Okay, anyways, Mike. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michael Bardic Dice. Uh, welcome to this post D&D therapy session for everyone. This is, this <laughs> feels, honestly, feels like, it's like an <laughs> evening relaxing. Therapy. I'm also frazzled, and I play a D&D character who almost died. No. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I played Mithridon on this channel, on the, in this game, uh, a moon elf, a uh, paladin sorcerer who is teetering on the edge of life and coming back, but um, is real big about protecting his friends and uh, everything else. So super love to play it. I also twi uh, stream on Twitch as well. Um, so I am on Bardic Dice on Thursdays and Wednesdays with Fates United with Mark and Ricci. And then Wednesday is a Feywild uh, fun little campaign that we're doing modular, um, both on 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 8.30 Central for marquee gaming people. Um, yeah, Other way, so I have a whole lot of fun. 6.30. 6.30? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. It's what, either go up or down an hour. You'll either be late or be early, so it's great. Uh, <laughs> I'm still frazzled. <laughs> yes. And I'm Mark, the Dungeon Master, who also streams on this channel sometimes. Are you frazzled? I'm frazzled as well. That was a, that was quite a doozy of a session we just had. So he was like pacing around the house. Oh, I was like pacing so after. much after that session. <laughs> I was there was all a groove in the floor I was making. It was pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, I had fun. It was just very intense. So I'm actually kind of curious. What did you guys all do? Like, what's your like go to? If yours is pacing, I literally sat at the computer for 15 minutes, just like staring. Wow. <laughs> I went on a walk to get some of my energy out. Um, and then I watched a horror or some of a horror movie because it felt... There you go. That's fun. Oh. So like going straight the other way when you're already anxious, kind of feel like you're, you're anxious about something else, feels kind of... You're like, yeah. like not this, I'm anxious <laughs> about go. ghosts and not... I like that. Nice. It's so, kind of nice. That's so, good. so, chat, there's your question for right now. We'll have a question later, too. But what is your coping mechanism? Like, do, you, do you pace? Do you sit there and stare like what's your what do you have? i i definitely was in a fetal position like laying on my phone <laughs> or and not like traumatized me but you know i just was comfy yeah, and yeah. i just like laid there and like mark was trying to talk to me and i was like i have to conserve my energy <laughs> yeah. before i yeah. cannot next... speak for the next two hours. oh yes please do not <laughs> please, please. Do not <laughs> oh man okay <laughs> well anyways that's our intro for all the characters they're all awesome and amazing uh we also do have a Discord, which maybe somebody will hit the command for Discord at this point. 
and it'll be in the chat. Thanks, Bardic Dice, for putting <laughs> that in chat. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's um, so we also have a YouTube and a podcast if you'd like to catch up on previous episodes where you can watch them there. Um, last session was quite the session, though. If you missed it, oh my <laughs> goodness, that was a great... You should watch it again. <laughs> so, um, uh, Give us a follow here on Twitch if you enjoy D&D content and other fun things. And... Yeah, we appreciate all you. You're all awesome and amazing. Uh, I don't think there's any other announcements I have. Future Mark, anything? Put it in the chat for everybody else to know. Okay. Uh, but let's turn on some tunes, and we will... Let's see. We'll get into a recap of our last session. Uh, so last time... Yes? I was going to request something. What were you going to request? When you talk about the recap, can you show the character art that I drew that is now pointless? Sure. Oh, so it doesn't go to waste. I will put the character art up on thank the screen. You. It's going to be a little slower because yeah. i got to go through it all, but yes. I know. Thank you. Thank you. So last time, uh, our party was being confronted by four individuals. I'll put them on screen. There was sort of like the <laughs> front guy, Lycor. That's his face right there. He was interesting. Seemingly the kind of one of the front people, the leader-ish, maybe with Lorith. Um, and also a person who ended up being part of the group that took Ren's Pops' life. He was there. They also had Lorith, who's right there. <laughs> She's an elderly woman who uh, the party has had some interaction with. Able to seemingly affect people's minds and change her shape. And she got in this fight with the party. Uh, they also was... Who else do I got? Which is the next one I'm going to see? There's a Theron, a moon elf, over there this time. Uh, who was kind of protecting Renan's family. But then when the opportunity came, he tried to take Renan's life. And ended up escaping through some means. And last, there is another young girl, Aaliyah, who was part of the party's uh, initial injection receiving in session one, who ran away and showed up a couple times, showed up one other time, digging up corpses from a, a graveyard, but she showed up here as well. Um, so she's right there. And. Uh, they all got into a confrontation because they were very set on taking Renan's life. Uh, that was kind of what they were saying is uh, going to happen. Renan was about to cast a spell, which triggered everything going off. Uh, there was an initial spell that got out, and it really hit Ezhil, who was right there. And gave him some sort of mental fogginess that slowed him down and the fight was very intense very touch and go in a lot of places a lot of clutch rolls at the exact moment that needed to happen some good 20s some fortunate finding and health potions in the back of, of their 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 little packet or little like pockets and stuff uh some smart ideas for not letting people roll death safes ever <laughs> <laughs> It's a because good thing. It would have died. <laughs> three uh -huh. times. Very fortunate. Ren did not have to roll a death save. <laughs> uh, All three of mine would were failures on my ooh. own. Like I was just like to see what they were. Yeah. Yikes. So yeah, it was very touch and go, but kind of midway through the fight, uh, another familiar face, which I'll find this picture, uh, Gwyneth Street showed up. She's right there. She showed up, sort of. Weary from travel or something, kind of disheveled looking. And upon arrival, uh, Lorith attempted some sort of mental affecting ability or spell, which caused Gwynestri to just kind of snap. And she just went on a killing spree after that. Uh, killing Lorith, killing Atherin, and killing uh, Lycor all within those moments and really kind of turned the battle for, in many ways for the party. But after they finally took out the zombies and then finally the last one standing, Aaliyah, 
Uh, they were able to stabilize Renan, get him back up. Uh, Karis is pretty badly hurt too, and Raya is also on the edge. They look over though, and they see the slumped mm-hmm. over body of Ezhil, who just seemingly got caught up in these roots that sprung from the ground, and they just sort of pummeled him. Uh, so, we are going to pick up right after that fight ended. Um, Gwenestri sort of like points the dagger at you. It still has little bits of flame licking off of it. And just is like, are you going to attempt something on me too? Or do I have to kill you too? Can I insight her? Sure. Immediately. Go for it. Like, see what her, Raya roll. Does she, does she look like herself? Does she look... Yeah, would it... What's her deal? Backwards, is that what it is? Gross. Yeah, I went backwards. I'm my bad. It's like mm. this. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure if you six, drew it that way. No. 16. No, like... 16? Okay. I, right. I mean, she definitely seems on edge. And she seems a little off from what you remember her. She usually is pretty mm-hmm. soft-spoken, more timid. And she seems, like, much more aggressive and angry right now at this point. What? No. Uh, Gwen? Uh, and he looks over, sees Ez, Ezheel. And, Ezheel! And he's going to try dead. and start he's, running. He's dead. He's but, dead. N- no, no, he's, he's not. He was dead. just going down. What? Um, she, you need to get her. Now. He looks down, sees like, Aaliyah. Ah. <sighs> and we'll bend over and to spare the dying on her. Okay. So you can feel Why that we're... her her life force is kind of stabilized and she is lying there now, just slowly breathing. He's still going to push back Karis and just run over to Ezheel. Okay. Just trying to check on him. Yeah, you, you try like a spare the dying on him quick and nothing. There's no attachment. Anything. No. Guys, come on. He's not dead. How'd he die? I'm just like... Sorry. I like just kind of point to like where the area was. Like not really having many words. Yeah, there's a lot of like slumped over root that's just kind of like entangled around him and like are on the ground. This this 20 foot square. Uh, While he's doing that, I want to be like, Gwen, we're your friends, remember? Remember Ezio? We came to come find you. Give me a persuasion roll. Disadvantage. Uh, And Roz is just kind of floating there, watching all this happening as well. Say something, too, Uh, to her. Does that that help? Can I do not disadvantage, or does that not? You can do your own roll with disadvantage. But you can. We'll do that once you say something. Uh, Well, hold on. Actually, I think my stats got up. I had a persuasion so low. I got a 15. Okay. So she's still kind of standing there defensively, but doesn't look like she's getting more aggressive, but looks to be like it in thought. Looking at each of your faces. I'm just going to... Yeah, just say, Gwen, do you, do you remember we all got taken? We came to, came to get you because we heard you escape from Colin. Do you, do you know anything about that? Do you remember anything? Uh, you can give me a persuasion roll with this advantage as well. I rolled well the first time. I was a little second. Um, eight. Eight? Okay. Mm. She just kind of like looks at you and then looks away. Uh, makes his, her, her way through all the people. I want to carry as his body out of like that goop stuff and like put it on the car or something like that. Yeah. I mean, the car is like surrounded in this too though. Or yeah, just move, moving out of this from it just for now. Out yeah. of this, it's perfect. And then putting his body down, he just looks over and he's like dropping the dagger and taking off the shield and just dropping it. And he's when Estri we came after you. I'm so sorry. And just he'll take like two steps towards her, still keeping the distance. And he just has his hands up and he goes, "The the sun spirit." It, it saved me, and, and I think it freed and went after you. Or did you see it? Did it? Did it help you? She kind of 
takes like a step back as you approach a little bit. Uh, give me a persuasion roll as well. Disadvantage. Okay. So much worse. Seven. Okay. She kind of looks at all of you and no more voices in my head. I'm done with this. Too many. Too many voices. Are they fighting? Do you still hear them? Oh, he's telling me what to do. I'm done with it. When the, the sun spirit's nice. Don't you remember? Just like why his moon lady helps him. I think I think two things are fighting for you right now, but there's one you you probably need to listen to that'll help for real. We can kill that bad spirit, the thing that's corrupting both of our people. We can save everybody. We can save Ezheel. We can save all of them together. But we can't do it unless the both of us unite. We've been trying to find you this whole time, Gwen. We said we were your friends and we meant it. She still kind of looks at you. Can, can I say something? Because I, I, I guess because they're like kind of getting her. I don't know. I'm going to like just look at her and be like, or Gwen, just let us take you back to, to get help and get healed. You don't have to do anything else if you don't want to. We want to help you, though. We just want to make sure you're safe. Yeah, you don't have to me. listen to any voices. You don't even have to listen to us. You can just We just have to take you back to safety. You're not taking me anywhere. Okay. Where do you want to go? I'm going back home. You want to the go center? back? That's where I'm what going. What do you want to? What do you want to do there? I'm going to find Sabralira. She can help me. He'll help you with the how. She's always been the one who took care of me. Yeah. Do you she... remember being with Colm at all? Do you remember any of that? Yeah, what happened? Do you remember us? You look familiar. Do you remember when you got out or how you got out? While I was camp? just woke up and knew I had to get out. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, Gwen. Um, or, uh, Gwen Estri, you said I could call you Gwen earlier. But, yeah, we, we, we hung out, like, for a long time. You were in the city with us. And you even got Estri, Estri, like, and she, like, kind of is, like, tearing up, looking over him. Estri promised to protect you, too. Remember you got a shot that gave you powers, do you remember that? You said you wanted powers, and we got you a shot that gave you some powers? That night in the church? I know you were scared there too, but both of us heard voices, but we also hear the good spirits calling us too. I might be able to help you if you want it. I don't know if it'll help, but it might stop one of the voices for now. I, I don't know if you want it. I don't need your help. I know you've been through a lot. Can you, will you at least let us take you, come with you to the, to the Sun Elf camp? Make sure you get there safely? We, need we were going to, to actually look for you there anyway. Yeah. She, um, Gwen, she's my aunt, Sabralera. Mm -hmm. If you don't remember that. I see. She kind of keeps looking over at Ezhill now. You remember him? I mean, you know him. You guys are friends. Yes, he, I know him. He, I'm not going to let him found, die. She points over at Roz. Did you do this to him? With him? No. He was trying to help. He's a sun elf, Gwen. Or used, he used to, be. to be. 
He was one of the elders. He's my friend. I'm gonna point towards, um, like, Lorith and, uh... Oh my god, why did I forget his name? Lycor. Lycor. Um, and be like, they they did that to Ezreal, but Roz was trying to help him. He just, we couldn't in time. We might still be able to help him, we don't know, but we, we need to make sure we can... We need to make sure you're safe, too. Yeah, Gwen. There's a guy that controls people. His name was Colin. He had he took all of us together. Mm. All four of us. And your memory probably isn't working so good because or you don't remember as much because it messes with your head. Like we hardly remember anything that happened either. We so got out like, because we were sent on a mission and Somebody saved us while we were on it, but yeah. after that we couldn't remember where you were. We couldn't remember where to even go to find you. So that's mm -hmm. so why we were we were out here with Ezio. We drove out here to try and get to the Sunoff camp because we figured it was they a place to start and they could help. But you decided you didn't want to kill the the Moon Elf Chosen. You didn't want to. You guys were going to work together. So we helped you escape. Mm-hmm. Does she seem to be registering any of this? Is she like, is her face changing at all? Or is she just like sitting there? She just looks like she's upset right now. And kind of the more you guys go on, like the more she just kind of continues to like okay. turn on this okay. conversation. Uh, okay. okay, Gwen, we don't have to talk about it anymore. Do you, do you want to just sit with us and, and regain your strength and then we can all go back together? We all need to rest and can sleep. Take we... care of his body and he should be taken care of. But you look and there's not a scratch on her. She is totally good. There's something dark that has led all of these people to do what they did. Do I see? Does the Gooby Crow? Is it gone anywhere? Do we do you notice it anywhere? Uh, go ahead, and give me a perception roll. Ten. Okay, yeah, you're looking around. You don't see it anywhere. And try and look when she point and said that. Yeah, go ahead. Fifteen. Fourteen. 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 You also did not see it. When the woods are really, really dangerous, so if you wait for us to kind of catch our breath a little bit, we can come with you. If you don't mind. I don't want anything to happen to you, though. Like, there's giant trees that walk around, throwing logs and weird. There, we ran into some things that were, like, eating bodies. It was really awful. Arkazan wants you dead just as much as he wants me. Speaking of that... As you guys are talking, and kind of without you even noticing, all of a sudden you look over and the three bodies of Lorith, Atherin, and Lycor are suddenly like starting to be pulled into the woods. You look and there's black vines that are grabbing them and pulling them oh, towards the woods. Can I run over and like, like try to chop it? Like, at least, especially like Lorith, I guess, specifically. If you'd like to. Yeah, can I try that? Sure. Give me an attack roll. Attack? Okay. Yep. With your short sword. Uh, oh, I did good. Um, I got 18 on the die. So I'm assuming 18 plus 7. 20. Yep, roll me damage. Oh, I, I can't do math. Um, Ren just going to yell doing? out, be like, that's, that's what's too. corrupting our villages. That's our enemy. Uh, 7 damage. Okay, so you slice into this, and you're able to hack through it real quick, and okay. the Lorith one stops moving. The other two are still being pulled. Can I grab a Theron too? I'll get his next. Um, we, uh, do we need them? Why does? I just don't. Well, a we don't need more bodies, but also like. Argazon could bring them back. I don't. If, I don't trust it. If these are if these are like important people of like, 
who's gonna believe us? We may need some, I mean, I don't know. I'm just... So as you, like, start to run towards the Atherin, yeah. um, the vine that you, or the root that you slashed is going to slash at you real quick. Okay. I should probably, I'll be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should stop. I Nin stop 19 right. to I hit. Stop. What is it? 19 to hit. Yeah, it hits. Uh, that will be seven points of damage if it slashes I, into. I have one health. Okay. I'll like, I'll like, literally, I'll be like, Ugh, and kind of just stagger back, and be like, I can't, and just kind of slump over. Like, That's what I was afraid of. I just do. What's Gwen doing? She's just watching, kind of in shock as this is happening. Um, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to frostbite the one on Lorith that she just hit. Okay. Give me an attack roll. Um. Uh, or is it a save on it? Constitution saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Roll damage. That's eleven points and has disadvantage on the next weapon attack. Okay. Yeah, you hit it. It just kind of recoils and starts to slide back in as the other two bodies are getting pulled off into the woods. I'll keep on shooting if no one else will do anything, but I'm, just I'm gonna Oh, I'm still by Aaliyah. I'm gonna probably start like tying her if I can. I'll help you with that. It's like my one hit point. <laughs> okay. Um I'll shoot at Lycor if I still have a chance. With or what? The vine on Lycor. Frostbite again. Okay. Uh I'm gonna give it advantage because it's low to the ground, like it's prone basically. Yeah. So uh, I'm just trying to keep any of these from going into the Is it half damage now. if it saves? Yeah. Okay. It's half damage on a cantrip? On a f Oh, maybe not. Sorry. No. I don't no, you're right, you're right, you're right. It doesn't hit. Okay. So yeah, it just I'll, keeps I'll pulling. The other one. Yeah. It keeps pulling as I mean, you kind of like yeah. hit a spot of ground that just pulls, though. And Unless you want to pursue I mean, it, it looks like it's getting out of range. I'm gonna pursue it. If no, I can. no, we can't, Ren. Stop it. I'll, yeah, I'll I just like, yell like, after him. I'm You're not dying. Like, I have 60 foot range. Like I'm not gonna go into the woods or anything, but I'm trying to stop it from going into the woods if I can. Okay. She was just freaking out. Anyway. Give you one more before it gets to the woods. Uh, bonus action. I'll get it back a second level on chromatic orbing it. Okay. Rolling your attack. Disadvantage because it's prone basically. Nice. 17 and an 18. Uh. 25, I think. 17 plus 7. Yeah, roll damage. 24, yeah. I'll do fire. Okay. That's a 3 bad 10. Oh, that's, that's all right. 16, 18 points. All right, so yeah, you burn off that little chunk. Uh, I'm going to go up and try and drag the body back. The second vine, though, that's still there... It's going to kind of be playing defense, so you'd have to get past that. Like the one that Raya attacked previously. Oh, okay. So, do you want to pursue it? It's not worth it. No, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to pursue it, but I, I will keep on just doing frostbite at it until things either the bodies get away or I, or I stop them. Okay. So, if you're not pursuing, it's going to kind of come over and assist the second one in taking Lycor's body. Then I'll go over to Lor Lorith. is free, right? Lorith is free, yeah. I'll drag Lorith's body back. Okay. Gwen, can you stay? Just stay with us till we go. We can all go together. Those horses out to get us. I mean, you saw what those things did. She they nods, but she'll stay. Okay. Morning, isn't it? It's still, still morning. Yeah, it? it's still morning. So the woods aren't like super scary and bad like we can we can stay here probably and it'd be fine or are they moving i mean you saw the vines <laughs> that's about it yeah we're yeah. on the edge we specifically you were outside the woods, the woods. Yep. yeah and still could come in after <laughs> it but I'll, I'll look at you guys should we just rest in the car maybe or should we do it outside here what would be better well i like i um will gag Aaliyah too because of spell casting okay yes yeah. I'm gonna bring over Laura's body and just dump it nearby, and then take Ezes and 
respectfully lay him in the back and cover his body with like a blanket that we had or because we were hiding under blankets right when we left so i'm gonna uh, cover his body just respectfully in the back okay I probably like go over to Ez and just kind of like put my hand on his hair a little bit and she's just like I'm really sorry I have to die we can see if anyone can do anything I don't want to believe it's over quite yet we can't just keep doing this every time someone dies I though know. we can't know. there's not enough of anything anymore I know I know but not letting him die for me. It's not happening. We can't just keep doing this, Ren. Let's just listen, let we him need... go. I don't know. We can't do this all the time. People are gonna keep dying. Not, not him. Let's just rest right now, and we'll protect Ezra's body until we know what to do. But for now, let's just focus on the task at hand, which is resting and getting Gwen to the Sinals. Friend's gonna just walk off, just getting space for a second. Same. I'll stay with the bodies and Aaliyah and just watch. I'm watching for vines right now, too. So, yeah. So you guys kind of keep a lookout. Um, get your space. Are we trying to need a long rest or short rest? I can't remember. Well, no, we can't. I don't know about. Well, long rest know. is eight hours, so. Yeah, so I would assume yeah, no. just an hour, but yeah. I don't know. I mean. An hour at least at first, and then I guess we can reevaluate if. Okay. Going into Saberlier's camp. I know. <laughs> That's why, but we're too emotional to talk about it right now, so. Yeah. No, I'm fine after an hour, yeah. Because Gwen just. Well, I was going to do something. Us a couple minutes after with her but i don't know yeah, i'm not doing i'm not doing anything i'm just making i'm just asking like she's not yeah. walking away right she's just kind of like off in a distance just with us right? she kind of goes and sits against the front bumper of the car just kind of looking out towards the woods you saw raz up he Ross. goes away five minutes he'd be gone so minutes, yeah. by this point he's probably gone uh should we roll for hit dice or yeah, I'm glad you guys are doing a saw... short rest. Well, that's what we're trying, but I wanted to make sure there was no um, vines. Okay. Or it looks like the woods isn't out to attack us right now. Um. Yeah. As you kind of wait, nothing really happens. There's no threat that seems to approach the the vines. Trying to grab the buys was the only thing, and um, other roots that came. But. But if you guys just sit and chill for an hour, you can take a short rest. Okay. We can do nine die, can't we? No? To level nine? If you want to do all nine, you are welcome to do all nine. We'll see. Remember, when you take a long rest, you're only going to get half of those back. Yep. Yeah. I mean, worth it, but just let you know. Oy. It's just something. You had your constitution, right? Yes. I'll do But If you have a con save. <laughs> if you have a constitution modifier, yeah. I have plus one, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. But yeah, Gwyneth, she's just kind of sitting at the front with like her head, and she's kind of like nice. leaning against the back of it, and she keeps an eye out for things here and there, but... Can I just... search... Uh... I'm like, oh, Karis is like so pissed and is storming around for a couple minutes and then after she starts she checks Aaliyah's body and she checks Laura's body for anything. Okay, give me an investigation roll. Oof, killing these dice. Eight. Eight? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I mean, digging through Aaliyah, I mean, you saw, we find some pieces of bone little small pieces here and there in pockets and a, a few very sharp knives that she has on her. Um, Get rid of those. Not yeah. a whole lot else. Um, 
but yeah, and she's just kind of lying there slumped over. Um, and Lorith kind of searched through her things, and it's just regular kind of city and things like a little pack she has with some stuff and nothing too crazy. Some spell casting components, that's about it. Can I, when I'm looking through Loris Barty, can I look at Gwen and be like, you remember her, right? She looks at her and nods her head. You, why'd you kill her? She tried to get in my mind. I'm not doing that anymore. Do you remember that happening? I remember doing it. When I showed up here. I heard you fighting. I saw some fire. I heard an explosion. And she tries to do something to my mind when I show up. She doesn't deserve to live like that. I'm done with that. No more. I, you're you're sick of that, because I feel like before you wouldn't have said something like that, or you were scared to do something like that. I guess. I am done with that happening. I get it. It happened to us too. It sucks. So as long as you don't tell me what to do or try to mess with my head, yeah, I will be willing to travel with you. <laughs> you are you really, really sold on going to Saberlier right now? She is the only one who I trust enough to go to right now. Yeah. She tried to kill Ren. She tried to have you kill her. I'm just worried about that. But it's... Lorth was manipulating her. That's what they said. <sighs> then maybe she got what she deserved. I just don't want anything to happen to Ren. Like, do you think you could get Sabralira to like talk, and we could actually all try to talk with each other instead of instant trying to kill Ren? You, I know you don't remember, but you didn't want to, Gwen. We were all friends. Let's see what Sabra there wants. Ren's dagger is by her feet, by the way. Okay. We pick it up. She just kind of holds up hers that she's been holding this whole time and. These look the same. Yeah. Mostly. It is. Everyone thinks that it's you guys are one of you supposed to kill the other, but the more we've been looking into it, the more it looks like you both. At least the, what the dagger says. I don't know if it's true, but you both work together. She just kind of flips it and reads both sides. I don't know. I don't want yeah. to be told what to do anymore. Oh, Gwen, seriously, I'm there with you. I think we're just being really insistent because we've been with you for a bit and we knew what you did want. It's just... It, 
you don't remember, I guess, so it seems like we're telling you what to do. So, sorry. That's not what we meant. But we're just really upset, too, because Ezkiel's dead, and he was, like, a really good friend. And he wanted to find you, like, so much. Like, he left the whole tribe for you. The whole tribe, like, disowned him, basically. They were gonna kill him. And he left it for you. Then he needs a respectful burial, then. And you said you have multiple voices in your head? Yes. And I try to ignore them. Do you know what they're saying? Some are trying to meet, get me to... come to here, the woods. Others are trying to tell me to kill him right now. Oh wow, that must be really confusing. I mostly try not to listen to them. That makes sense. I only had like one voice in my head at a time, so I can't even imagine two. Is that other girl someone who is with them? She kind of points yeah, to trying. Aaliyah. I mean, she was, but... Um, so we all got powers through an injection at the city. And she was one of them. And I think it messed with her head. So she might be able to give us information about what's going on, but we also want to help her, because it sounds like she was a nice person before all this happened. So I think something's messing with her head. I think she heard voices, too. A lot. She doesn't seem like all there, you know. You should help her. I want to. I don't know what to do with her. That's why there was a part of me that wondered if you wanted to come back with us to the city first, we could give her to someone that can help. I'm not going back there, I'm going... She points to the woods. Okay. Do you think you could convince Sabrina not to kill her? Maybe. I don't know. I just really don't want anyone else to die. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Well, it seems like something needs to die. Uh-huh. Yep. I agree with you there. I don't want to hear voices. You know if they're nice? Maybe. Not to be told what to do anymore. Yeah. Maybe the nice the nice voice was telling you what to do because he was worried about you. He came to run in a dream and said he was worried about you. I don't know whether voices are good or bad, though. They're Is there one that voices. sounds creepy and one that sounds nice? They just sound like voices. Oh, okay. I guess the one... I don't know. I guess one of them's new, huh? The other one's been there for a long time. I think that's what you said. Yes. So did you ever like the first one? 
I don't like either of them. Why don't you like the second one? Because I don't want to be told what to do. Oh, have you told it you don't want to be told what to do? No, I just don't listen to it. Oh, okay. I mean, you could be like, hey, can you not, though? Let's be partners. And then he'd probably say sure. I don't want to be told. Okay. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. It, I know. You could do whatever you want, Gwen. It was just a suggestion. I was just trying to make you feel better. Obviously, it's not working. I like a whole handshake and everything. It's fine. <laughs> you shall. We had like a pinky promise thing we would do. Okay, well, you can chill here. I just want to make sure we're at least a little bit on the same page. I don't plan to kill you yet. Thanks, Gwen. Yeah, you were really brave. You've been really brave this whole time. Just want to let you know. I always thought you were really cool. And, like, we probably would have died without you. Like, running in there. So, thanks. She just kind of, like, looks off around again. I just put my hood and stomp around some more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, either one of you two, Rai or Renan, want to do anything during your short rest? <laughs> Specifically, I think he'd probably take a breather and say a prayer for Ez and just think. And then uh, at the end of the hour, he probably wants to talk to everybody, but okay. just kind of letting everyone have their space and letting things calm down. Sure. Can I look through the car to see, because it was Ez's car, I think? Can I just look through it to see if there's anything in there? Sure. Um, so, yeah. Give me an investigation roll. Nat one. Uh, let's see. So four. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're looking through. There's basic things in a vehicle. I mean, there's the blankets in the back. There's, there's not a whole lot, though. It looks like it's been mostly pretty much cleared out. The Did she miss out on the diamond that was in the glove compartment, Mark? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah, what? we'll never know. <laughs> There's actually like a sack full of diamonds that you guys will never yeah, find oh, it. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I the keys are still in there, right? Yes. I, I know how to... Yeah, I just taught me how to drive, right? So I could... You do know how to drive. Mr. Shot taught you how to drive, I believe. So. Oh, yeah, he did. Never mind. Um... I guess I'll just get the keys and, like, put them in my pocket and, like, just kind of be ready to, like, talk and group, regroup and leave whenever, so. Okay. Not that anyone, anything would, like, steal the car, but still, <laughs> I'm just getting, getting nervous. Yeah, Vine comes in and just drives off with it. <laughs> 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 it hot wires the car, what? Um, Little hat on. See ya, I'm out of yeah. here, I hate the woods. It, I guess, I guess I might kind of look around to the perimeter of like, can I, trying to basically see any tracks or whatever of where they came from. Do I see anything about what direction they all came from? Um, give me a survival check. Survival, please do better than a one. Better than a one. Okay, hold on. I don't know what I'm survival. Uh, fifteen. Okay. I mean, it looks like they kind of came in from where you guys pulled in from. There's some, like, shambling zombie footprints. Um, but once you get to kind of the road, it's hard to tell after that. I mean, it was more the direction from uh, kind of, like, from the road. But the road makes it so you don't know where they came from. So Okay. And during this hour, I'm just going to keep a lookout for the goopy crow, too. See if I hear or see anything. Sure. Yeah, you guys don't see any crow show up. But 
I mean, the hour kind of comes to an end, and um, Renan, you can do something if you'd like. Quick question for you. If I recall correctly, there were two sun elves in my village, right? That came and lit it on fire with the fireballs? Yes. Or at least more than just Lycor, right? You saw two. Do I know if it was another male sun elf? Or the like the description of the other one? Yeah, it was a male. Yeah. Okay. So you guys maybe, maybe a little know. older than Lycor. Okay. Right. You guys want to talk about what to do? I shuffle over and like put my head on his shoulder, on Ren's shoulder. I'm like, and like, just like, like, you know, hood with hair. And then you just hear him muttered, sorry, I yelled at you. He just gives her that like half hug. <laughs> it's... I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna walk over to you guys and just put both hands on his shoulders and be like, we. I drag you into the full hug. I'm kind of like, kind of sit there. I'm like, okay, thank you, everyone. Um, is this an including Gwenestra I was talk? Gonna, I was going to look over, like, Gwen, do you, Gwen, do you want any part of this? Do you want a hug? We're really sad. She'll, like, look at you guys and then see her hugging and just does not come over. I just, just thought we'd offer. <laughs> I don't, I know that we can't keep raising people back to life, but I don't want to believe that. I just want to see what we can do. Ready to let him go. Yeah, I'm not ready yet. He sacrificed so much for us and gave up his life in the, with the sun elves, for me. I'll find a way. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'll find a way we keep doing this though we won't have enough like anything to save anyone from column that's what mr H brother hibbert said yeah we'll find we'll find more diamonds there's a whole world out there there there's are dry diamond more. trees somewhere <laughs> exactly you think who knows i was gonna let them both free from their little hog thing but kind of standing in a way that's like talking to them but opening up towards Gwen. Yeah, I'll kind of do the same. I'll kind of like make sure we're... We're done hugging if you want to come talk, Gwen. Vanestri, we're not going to tell you what to do, and you have complete free choice, but we want to work with you, not against you, and I have a few ideas if you're willing to at least listen. Um, again, you do what you want, and that's what we've always said, but if you'd like to listen... The moon and sun elves have always been against each other. And we don't have to be anymore. She stands up and just kind of stands there with her arms folded. A, lot, a little ways away from the circle. Not quite part of it, but listening. So I have an idea, guys. Hmm. Huh. Would never have suggested this in a million of years, but... There are more out there. Lycor was not the only sun elf that came to the village. So there's more extremists. Mm -hmm. And who knows who else Jargazon is going to lie to. And who else is going to believe in this moon elf versus sun elf. Or the corruption of the trees versus the city. Whatever it is. But she showed me that vision of the church. And I think if we all go together, if we stop those roots and that thing at the church and save the sun elves, Gwenestri, I think that's where the voice is coming from. I heard it myself. It wanted to kill me too. that night at the church. And if we can ask Savrilir to help us, are we strong enough? I mean, are we... We'd have... Oh, I don't know. We killed one demon before. Yeah, but this, if this is like Sabrilera the... And the guards? If they're, if they're willing to help us, or us help them. If they're yeah. gonna listen, though. This war is gonna keep on continuing. Do you think we should talk and 
see if um, without you Aaliyah there knows anything. Or yeah, all that too. But yeah, I was gonna say I don't think we should go in unless we have all of our stuff back. I'm Gwenastri. I'm I'm tapped out. I, I, Sabalier has tried to kill me more than once and has kidnapped me, tied me up and has used you against me. I want to try and work with her, but if she tries to hurt you, I, I don't have a way to help. Or if they try, if she tries to hurt my friends. And before you say anything, he kind of points at Karis and is like, I know what you're going to say, but this is important to me. I'm willing to tell Sabrelir she can have me if when we stop those roots at the church if they keep on hearing those voices. He puts a hand on Kara's shoulder because he knows she's about to fight it. Actually, I was going to say the same thing because I'm so sure that we're right that it would not work out. So... That we're back on the same team. Yeah. Oh, yeah I mean, do you think would even give us anything? Well, not, not saying, oh, the voices will stop, but even just, like, proving that we're right. But... Because if, if the sun spirit or the moon spirit could at least talk more or, or less corruption in the, in the woods where they can feel the presence of our history back. Sabrelir has hurt people out of protecting her own and I, the sun el or the moon elves have hurt people just as much. And again, he's going to look at Gwenastri like, as he's not the only one that's died, I've because of me, innocent people from my own tribe have died trying to get them to safety. No one else has to die because of me, and especially all of you because I care so much about you. You can do whatever you want. You can go leave now and go to Sabrelira. She believes that killing me is the only way we save our tribes. But you didn't believe doesn't that. want to. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do what you want to do. But I'm hoping that together we can save both of our tribes. I'm willing to die trying. She kind of looks at you, Ryan. You took me away from that place the temple you carried me I did you saved me we were all tied up Savalier wanted you to kill me and you saved us you saved me and then the next time you died there didn't you But I got brought back. Just like I'm going to bring Ezio back someday. So you're saying there's something there. That's one of the voices. A bad voice. I know it. Shoot. And to ooze. I don't like that, though. She walks over towards you, Karis goes to take the dagger from you. The moon elf one? Yeah. I like look at Ren, but I'm like holding it out already. Nod. Like, yeah. Yeah. Nod. Yeah. She takes it and then walks over to you, Ren. <laughs> kind of puts it handle towards you. So then we go together and fight this. That's what you want? And she looks at it and points to the dagger prepared to fight both blades and she walks back a ways from the circle again he's like looking at both of them real quick when she's not looking like hello <laughs> yeah <laughs> y'all rock on me yeah <laughs> we're good we're good <laughs> But I do think we can talk to Aaliyah as well. I mean, do you really think morning. we can? What? We can talk. 
It's still Do you really think we can talk to her though? Well, I got a few spells left. Ones that will cancel out other spells. Did you see how mad they were, by the way? Yeah. Yes. Um, Unless, I, I don't know, if Gwen, if you do want to fight this together, that's awesome. But do you want to go to Sabra Lyra still, or should we go without her? You three don't you trust her? Awesome? Well, she really believes that you have to kill Ren no matter what. Lorith, and I'm going to point to Lorith's body. Lorith has been telling her that the voice, the one of the voices is good, and that, the, you know, she was kind of making her make you do things. I don't think it's, I don't think Sabler is necessarily the one who's doing that, but I don't know if she would believe us. Yeah, I think that Lorith's been lying to her. Money. <gasps> yeah. Manipulating and lying, <laughs> and lying to her. Uh, we read her even... journal one time because we went through her stuff, <laughs> and she said that she felt really bad for all the stuff she had to do, like she didn't want to. So I haven't been wanting to kill Sab this whole time and trying to get her to help us because I think that she is confused. I don't know. I think she's confused. Monastery. In that journal. Savalira spoke about killing my mom to come after me. And I'm still willing to try and work with her to fight this darkness. She has heard these voices that have wanted to do bad things. We have a chance to stop it, but we might, Sabular might only help us if, if you convince her to, I don't know. And again, I'm not saying you have to, or we're even asking you to do that. I just- Yeah, we could skip it and go straight to the temple if we want to. I just but... want you to know what's happened. I know, I remember her talking of needing to take your life. I don't know if she would change her mind right now or not. We go in fully rested. She doesn't have Lorith. And you can stay neutral. You can still ask, but... Or maybe if we go to the temple, we have proof. That's another option that I don't know. I just do want to give Avalir the chance to fight. I well, I do time. too. I just, I mean, that's one of the things is like, and you're gonna say no to me, friend, but I could just go try to talk to her. Well, if we're gonna talk to her, I say we split up anyway. I know it's not we don't love splitting up, but. I'd say we, Ren definitely should not go in there until we know what's- She'll take you to get to me anyway, and now we're down a person. Yeah. If she doesn't That's... do that. Okay. We're fully rested, and we go to talk to her. So we what, do you just go in and kill more people? We're not gonna kill anybody. The self-defense. We don't like killing anybody. We've been, like, knocking people out, actually. I don't like point to Elliot. We could have killed Sabralira. And we did. Mm-hmm. But if she's willing to help us, and if we go back and ask Ratha, together, the tribes can help fight for their freedom. I don't know if they would be willing, but... I want yeah, I the know. voices to end. I don't yeah. want it there anymore. Me neither. Yeah, so that's the question. Do we want to try and see if we want to give Sab a chance? Or do you think it's better just to not and to go to the temple by ourselves? 
Do you think you can convince her? If we Maybe can't, we should... she might try and keep us there. We might have to defend ourselves. Or get away. To get away, right. That's mm -hmm. what I meant, yeah. We won't, we will not kill anybody. Or at least not intentionally. You think her knowing Lorth lied to her would help enough to convince her? Especially knowing if you tell her that Lorth tried to mind manipulate you? She, I know Savralira loves you. She cares about you. Yeah. I don't even know what we could bring as proof if we Do knew we something. Do we want to talk to Aaliyah first? And, okay, two options. We can talk to Aaliyah right now and see what she knows. And I have the little, you know, spell thingy, so if she tries something, it won't work. And if we can find out more information that can help us talk to Sab, then awesome. Or option two, we could bring her with us now and be like, here, Sab, here's someone that hung out with Lorith all the time. Why don't we talk to her now, rest, and still do that in the afternoon? If we go now, we we can't defend ourselves. We can't protect each other. It's still morning, right? Yeah, but the longer we wait, then that means it's a night <clears throat> near the woods. Yeah. So we have to go soon, probably, in all honesty. I was thinking we might be able to, yeah, stay at the Sun Elf place, but yeah. It's only well, that's few. what I mean. I mean, it's in the woods still, though, so... And you just see those roots, so... Do you want to fight these woods without anything? If we go now? No, but I don't know what Gwen's thinking, because she seems real antsy to get there. If the woods are trying to kill you, wouldn't that put people at the tribe at risk if you go there? I don't know. I, yeah. They never attacked the Sun else before, but... If they think Saberlier is turning. Well, yeah, we just killed Laura, so. And if we go now, the Wood Elves are going to take us out before we even get to the church anyway. Huh? If what? we go the now to the elves? church, the, the woods. Oh, uh, what? Okay, the say the whole thing kill. again. That was confusing. Yeah. <laughs> if we try and go now, the woods are just going to kill us before we even get to the church. And then what we rest there when i died from an ooze the, the woods got to us there okay so that's the, well that's the thing do we want to go okay okay what are you okay with not going to sabra lira number one number two are you okay with waiting while we sleep so we can get all of our skills back how long will it take if we drive there right now how long will it take what did you say to the sun elves Mm -hmm. Uh, you could probably do that in a couple minutes, honestly. Probably like five, ten minutes or so. It's not oh, very far like, like, into the woods if you drove at a decent speed. Oh, I mean, why it's are like, we what? further? It's like five or six a.m., right? The sun just came up. It's probably about seven, yeah. Seven, so that's yeah, putting us three, four o'clock. I guess eight now with your hour rest. But, Can we yeah. get... Well, no, that might still put him in danger. But yeah, Gwen, are, do you want to see Sab or not? First of all. I do, but I don't want anybody to get hurt if they don't have to. So you would feel more comfortable with just going to the temple? I mean, do you have a place to get yourself rested, though, before that? This van right here? We would need to stay here. I don't know. Or you could ask Saberlira, one of us, or Gwenastra, you could ask her to meet us there. Meet you at, what, the temple? The temple. Tell her Renan is there. You have him there. He's ready to talk. It's, again, I'm just, we're just throwing out ideas. Oh, yeah. It's whatever you want to do, but we're just trying to think of 
I just, I don't know how strong this thing is. And the more help, the better. But, you and I are what they call the chosen ones, I guess. So it comes down to what, you know, what we can do. I don't know about Loreth, or Sabralira. I don't know what she will do. I don't want her to hurt you. I don't want you to hurt her. I don't want anything else to hurt anybody in that tribe. As long as they're not like her, and she points to Loreth. They all can die for what they're doing. Yeah. We don't think the tribe has much to do with... Like, they don't really know... Nobody seems to know what's really happening. I think they've been... They've all been lied to, manipulated, so I don't... I hope we won't have to I fight at all anymore. Yeah. But okay, so if you... Gwen, if you wanted to go ahead, you can and have us, well, yeah, meet... Wait, what were you gonna say, Gwen? I felt like you were continuing your thought. I just don't... I'll do what you want when with this. You and seem you to know wanna... more than I do. We don't want to hurt your people. No. So, out of character, this may be because we've been playing for a long time. And yeah, I was playing like, <laughs> kind of much. I'm having a lot of trouble because, number one, Gwen is like, don't tell me what to do, don't tell me what to do. So, we're like kind of all putting the decision on an NPC right now, which I know is difficult, mm -hmm. but I don't really know what else to do with that. And number two, I'm not quite sure. I just, I'm not really sure what, so, what okay. the implications are. You what feel the, like, the choices are. yes, she doesn't like the voice in her head and all being told what to do. But there has been a connection made with Renan at this time over kind of this purpose and this dagger mm -hmm. uh, situation. So she seems to be willing to listen to what he would like to do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm only putting forward... So we, I, Renan and myself fully believe we need to rest now before even going either to Saberly or the temple. Yeah, which is which is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I I know we talked about asking Saberly to help us before, and if going there now, either way they're probably going to be in danger. But we can go straight to the temple, and it's the four of us. Or we can try and go, after a rest. And we'll be trying to see if Saberly and the guards will at least help us. And Renan is willing to say, and Karis kind of joined with him, was like, they fully believe this. And if I'm wrong, I'll give up. And you can you can kill me now, because if that's not the way to save our people, then I don't know how. Wait, but I'm sorry. And what was the hang up? Because I, I feel like we we're getting confused in the timing, too, where we thought we'd... Because it, it's only going to take a few minutes to get to the camp. So are we, were we confused as to if we can rest now or okay. like, I was... I think we, yeah, I think I was confused because I thought okay. that it took a lot longer to get to you didn't the camp be in the night. from the woods. Mm -hmm. So yeah. regardless, I'm just going to, okay, in character, I say, regardless, we sh we need to rest fully, I think, here before we drive out. I can drive us, but I just don't, I do not think we should be going anywhere before we all have our abilities back. We can we can talk to um, Aaliyah before we go to sleep and take turns watching her. Um yeah, but I. Or do we even we, have to go to sleep? Is is it just eight hours of I just non rest and think sleep all night? For most people, it has to be a majority of sleeping for oh, okay. it to count as a long rest. I think six of eight hours have to be actual sleeping. Oh. So, um, we can drive there before sunset. It's just um, so we should be safe from the woods. I think, um, whether we whether we talk to Sab or not. Well, I think Gunestri's concern is that if we go to the Sun Elves and try and talk to Saberlira, the woods could turn on us if Jarga's like on. Them. Especially now that we took out Lorith and knows what we're doing, yeah. or... We don't know. I mean, I mean, the thing is with Sab is that she is tied directly to Jars. Jarga's on because she gets powers from him. So, I would worry she might listen to that. Right. Say we we skip her and just go straight to the temple and then bring back proof. And once once Jarzagon can't be there to control her anymore, if the voice is gone, then she might be more willing to listen to us. 
Are you guys willing to go without her and attempt to do this without her? You think we're strong enough? I just <laughs> thought about offering the, the, the tribe leaders a chance to fight with us and unite, but I'm willing to go now. It's that important. I don't want to wait too much longer. Mara at the latest. I still think... Oh, wait, were you going to say something, Gwen? She just is like, I don't think there's any chance you will get Sabralira to side with the Moon Elves. Yeah, I don't think so either. She and we can't go back to this and get Rafa either. That's not much yeah. sense. And we don't have Lorith alive to be like, look, she sucks, you know? Like, she could, like, believe yeah. whatever she wants about that. But, yeah, I think we should at least find out what Aaliyah knows. But I don't know mm -hmm. what we do with her. That's what I'm saying. We... We could just leave. I can try to see if the same things that saved the spirits and Quinestri can maybe help break whatever voices are in her head just for a little bit. That's all I can do. I don't know if it even works. We could give it a try. And if not, we could always just... I don't know. Leave her in the car. <laughs> oh, we got the... Because hey. I do, I want to help her, but we can't drive all the way back to the city right now and bring her back to Spire and then... Yeah. I mean, anybody we've ever tried to tie up, Dragazon has come and gotten free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... I don't want to kill. We can let it go back to these extremists, or take her back to Spire now, but we're delaying what we're trying to do. To be honest with you, I feel like we might, the less time that Jarzagon or whoever has, the better. Like, if yeah. we even go back to Spire and give it more time, it might... Yeah. I, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. We don't know who's being influenced. We don't know what's happening. I feel like the more time it has, the worse chances we have of even getting to the temple safely. I feel like yeah. we need to take our take our chance now after we rest. But that's just me. Um, we I can talk I to feel Aaliyah. That we have to rest, even. You know, I'm not saying we shouldn't, but yeah, we can't not, or else we'd be walking in yeah. dead. But is Aaliyah is Aaliyah like conked out, or is she like? Um, would she wake up like we was waiting for her to wake up, or what's the thing? It's up to you. She's currently still unconscious, but I can bring her back up. Mm -hmm. How about we get a full rest in, then wake her up and talk, and then go to the uh -oh. temple? Just a reminder to you about the temple. There is no direct road there. You'd have to go off roading, no on car, foot. on foot yeah. to there. It's like what, two hours or something? From the Sun Elf place, so yeah, yeah. Kind of in my in my head, I was kind of thinking if if we do go to the Sun Elves, try and get her to go with her. I know there's that path, but either way, it's still tragic through the woods. So. Yep. So just okay. a reminder about that too. So if it's like the right at sunset, I don't want to go at night though. I agree. I don't think we can. It was so dangerous at night than last time. They moved during the day too. I mean, I agree. I it's do agree with you. Worse than night, yeah. I'm just saying. Vanestri, would you be... And I don't want to go back to the city. Would you be willing to wait somewhere where we can take you back nearby? I can wait with you while they drop off Ali at Aspire, and then we can go tomorrow? first at dawn to this church. We're just worried about the, the the forest has killed a lot of people and it's really dangerous. Do what you want to do. Well, that, well, the problem is is we can't sneak into the city either because then they'll see us driving. Yeah. And we're not supposed to have left. Remember? Yeah, I don't think we can go back. So... So we just dump Aaliyah off the side of the road and come back for her later? 
I don't know. Maybe we talk to her first before we figure that out. Yeah, let's talk to her when she... Sorry, I'm so frustrated. Let's do it now. No, I just, I just want to get a plan. Yeah, let's just do it. I just want to get a plan going because I am I feel like we're wasting time. I mean, if we could just pay um, in the back of the car afterwards, then... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I know Jarzone's got that's everyone that, free, no. but it's, it's that's our best bet at this point. We can't bring her in. We can't, you know... Um, like we don't, we're kind of out of options with what we can do with her. If she can't be helped. You guys ready? Yep, let's do it. Okay, I'll tell, don't take the gag off yet. I'll tell her that if she tries anything, it's not gonna work and then we can. I am, uh, if they are ready and we will prop her up, kind of sitting up against the tire of the car. Um, I don't know, Mark, you could tell me, but my plan with her is, um, uh, I guess I'll save it. Uh, but I wanted to use one hit point to bring her back up. Okay. And then, I don't know if this will work, Aaliyah, but I know you, there's a good girl inside of you and you have been through a lot and maybe this will help. And I'm going to cast five lay on hands and kind of try and do the, that same thing that I did with Gwenestri. And I know we had a connection with Gwenestri, but she's going to try and see if that would help her clear her mind a little bit or any sort of restorative thing there. Give me a charisma doesn't... check with disadvantage at that point. So you touch her, heal her up the one, she kind of gets that breath of consciousness and... Putting like my thumb on her forehead and like holding the side of her head sort of thing. Mm-hmm. 19 15 plus so persuasion not just charisma charisma uh still three okay so 18 total okay you try to like get into her mind and do whatever you can to restore whatever's happening and you close your eyes but you feel intense resistance and you're just pushed back from that unable to do anything and she just kind of like sits there with the the gag in her mouth and she starts kind of muttering to herself you can't hear her because of the the muffled speech yeah. but she's kind of like looking around with these crazed eyes at all of you hey Aaliyah hi hello did she look at me when I'm mm-hmm. she look at you hey we're gonna let you talk to us but just to let you know, if you try any spells, I have that thing where it can stop it and it's not going to work. Okay? Get we it? We don't want to hurt you. We just want to ask you some questions. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. She starts but looking you at you, Renan, and, and just kind of, you can kind of tell she's repeating the same thing over and over and over. Mm. Can we... Yeah, would it, would it look like familiar to us of like her maybe casting a spell or attempting to? Um, or is it hard to just like with our arcane like abilities like we yeah. know how to cast spells with words does it seem like that or does it just seem like muttering she like she did because she did something. mutter back in the in the training thing she, she did. did so that was her thing it's yeah. hard to tell I'm sure if there's a way I mean most spells have some sort of other component to it whether it be yeah hand motions yeah. or whatever and she's tied up still I believe I don't think he got yes. tied her but no um, your boy's okay. got subtle he's nervous guys <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, no, but right. okay, so could he just develop uh, thing? I have my dagger backwards with the hilt, just in case we have to knock her out. But I'm just looking at cares, like yeah. do your thing. All right, so I take it off. So you pull it out, and she's just muttering, "The moon, the moon, the moon, the moon." I'm just looking at Renan. Uh. Oh, um, Aaliyah, hey, how are you feeling? Just kind of like looks over at you, and then. Her eyes pass you and fall to Gwenestri. The sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. What, what do you want with them? She just kind of like looks at you. The moon and the sun. Uh, how did Loris and everyone find you? Did you find them? Uh, is Lorith's body within view? I, think I don't know. I have to in view. 
Didn't we last... put them in the car? Last thing I did was dump it. Yeah, he outside dumped it of the somewhere, car. So, I mean, I know I put Ez heels in the back of the car. If you guys would think about putting hers in there too. I, I was thinking about it because I thought originally we were going to the Sun Elves, so we were gonna take them over there. That was, was what. If you had told me to, I would have, but he wouldn't have done it on his own. So, so. The answer is no. I think it's just I don't know if it's within view though. I'm not sure where you dumped it. So. Basically, right where she's at. So, as Hill is within view, but not Lorith. As Hill's in the car. Is she in the so car? She's still. No. Well, that's Leah, no. Yeah, she's outside the okay. car. So, no one's in view. Okay. Yeah. She starts looking around. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is he? Where is he? Where, where is she? How did they find you? Do you know them? Where is she? Where is she? Where is he? Where is he? They're gone. They're they're dead. 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 The woods took most of them. Yeah, the woods already took them. She looks at you. Dead. 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 The moon. Mm -hmm. Dead. The moon. Dead. The moon. Dead. Looks over oh, at he... Gunastri. The sun. Dead. The sun. Dead. The sun dead. Why do you want them dead? He says. The, the person in your head says it. He says. In here? He says. Start talking to you. He says. Mm. You got the injection just like so, us, right? And looks at you, Raya. Get the keys. Unlock the door. Get the keys. Unlock the door. The moon. The sun. Dead. What keys? Get the keys. Unlock the door. Oh, what she said back in a. Uh, yep. Back in yeah. the day. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Like I kind of instinctively just like look at the car keys in my pocket. I'm like, huh? I got these keys. Are these keys? Um. Actually, I'll even take him out like these. <laughs> Get the keys. Unlock the door. I don't think those keys. Yeah, I don't think those keys here. Um, the moon dead. The are sun you talking dead. about the luminance? She just kind of looks off at that point and continues. The moon dead. The sun dead. Insight check on that one. Is there any recognition of like that is or not? Sure. Give me an insight roll. We can do it too. Oh, can we all do it? Sure, all of you can roll an inside Yay. roll. Oh, I had a good two. Sixteen. Um, twenty-eight. Nineteen. Wow. Okay. Eleven. Eleven insight really. Just... It does help. Bum slayer. Uh, <laughs> you get kind of the sense, especially Raya, that she does not care at all about illuminance. Like that name means mm. nothing to her right now. Interesting. Darkest sun, right? She looks at you. The moon dead. Is there a recognition there, Jargazon? Oh yeah, definitely. That like um, focused her in on, and then she stares at him. Why though? Does Jargazon just want you to? Ask the dead. Ask the dead. Ask the dead. Like the the people that died. Ask the dead. Ask her. Ask the dead. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> how did they... How, why did you want to work with them? I can ask the dead. I ask the dead. You can? I ask the dead. Can I Can I go over and drag Laura's body kind of, not super near, but like a little bit, and be like, her? I ask the dead. Can I insight her sincerity? Me too. <laughs> sure. Me as well. I don't know. There's something... Oof. Uh, only 16. I mean, she seems like she's genuine. She Brennan's saying? gonna go tie up Lorith like we're tying up Aaliyah, just in case. Yeah. Something yeah, that's a good idea. Animates or anything. We've seen her bring up the dead, so. I'm gonna get my gun, too, and just kind of have it, like, out, but... Like, how, how can you talk to the dead? How do you how do you do it? Ask the dead. She kind of looks like she's struggling against her binds. 
Oh, You'll help is. us? Why, why would you help us, Aaliyah? Ask the dead. Can you make Lorith talk to us? Ask the dead. Halia, if you do anything, we're gonna have to knock you out again. You know that, right? But you can ask the dead if you want. You will. Real thing. <laughs> <laughs> we're all kind of like, uh. Um. You need to cast a spell, don't you? Ask the dead. Do you need both your hands? Ask the dead. Okay. I'll, I'll kind we'll of look try you guys. It. I'll, Is I'll she like struggling guys. with her binding with her hands? Like oh, she's still struggling. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll look at you guys and say I'll I'll untie her and I'll be ready. We'll all be ready to, to do something, okay? So just you guys, bad. Okay. And Ren take a hit right now? Yeah, like, I mean yeah, no, yeah. but I can't. Oh but yeah. Just saying I, I, I can't. Oh, wait, just kidding. No, I'm, we, we, we have okay. I have twenty health points, so we're good. Yeah. Um, Ren is just turning around and being like, I can't heal anybody right now, so Yeah, we can take I a can hit. take a hit. We can take a hit. Um hey Ren, stay over by why don't you and Gwen stay over by Lorith, maybe, and just be ready to get her in case, you know, I don't know. I mean, Karis will be over by. Uh, when Estri just kind of nods like she's ready for whatever okay. might come. I'll, I'll kind of really cautiously untie Aaliyah and, like, yeah, have my gun drawn, like, pointed kind of at her to, like, b behind her so she can't really see, but kind of, like, wait, waiting to, like, see what happens, I guess. Yeah, she's okay. completely ignoring your gun. Doesn't even look scared. Yeah. Okay. What should do? You entire? Yes. Mm -hmm. Rachel, right. did you want to say something? Well, I was just, I, if she looks distracted, I don't know if she'd listen to me, but I just want to be like, hey, Aaliyah, like, we were all together. Do you remember that? We want to help you. We don't want to do anything bad to you, so. Okay. Just please, please work with us, okay? She just starts, like, crawling towards, uh, Horeth. Muttering, ask the dead, ask the dead. I knew I did good by saying Lauren's body. Lauren's body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's gonna be useful. <laughs> or it's gonna you backfire. Yeah, just, no. yeah, just totally ready. All right. Mm -hmm. She kind of walks over towards her. And a mistake. And she is going to kind of reach out her hand. And we're gonna go on break there. <laughs> <laughs> Want it. So we'll come back after our break here <laughs> and continue with this part of the session. Whatever uh, this is. Whatever this is. This is a, dead a true horror movie scenario right here. <laughs> but crawling over towards her. Who <laughs> yeah. else? Yes. Oh, girl. So quick break and we'll be back shortly. So stick around. There's a question of the day on the break screen. You're free to answer in the chat. So see y'all hmm. soon.
All right, everybody, we are back from our break. Hope it was good for you. Uh, we're ready to get into our second half as Aaliyah is very creepily crawling on the, f the ground over towards uh, a deceased Lorith, saying, Ask the Dead. Let's see, what side is Aaliyah on my picture? Let's... Yeah, there we go, it's perfect. So she kind of crawls on over towards her. Crawls, it's, like, watching her, like... It's weird. Um... And... She starts to, like, pull out some herb from her pocket or something. Some, like, dusty... I don't know. Incense or something, maybe. And she... She kind of points to it and... Light. Oh. Okay, you don't have a matchy thing? Uh, I can only do a giant wall of fire. We have matches. Can we I probably have, yeah, do we have flint and stuff for camp stuff, I would just yeah, You have camp stuff, I'll, right? So. I'm yeah. Yeah. flame I'll, blade yeah. at a safe level Ooh. of just activating like the fire part of it and like putting it into the ground or something. I'll, I'll literally just get a match and be like, is this good? Oh, sure. Yeah, well, yeah, go for it. Much easier. <laughs> so yeah, you just... <laughs> oh, okay. Light a match yeah. and this incense begins to burn. Never seen you use that before. <laughs> and she starts, like, touching the corpse of Lorith. And all of a sudden, Lorith's head kind of, like, tilts and starts looking forward. These very vacant-looking eyes... And Aaliyah looks back at all of you. Ask the dead. Oh, like that! <laughs> Loris, is that you? That's one. Okay. Yeah, no, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, I'm sorry, what? So, it just looks at you. Yes! It's, it's limited question. Oh, 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 oh I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> she'll, 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 uh, you'll watch as Aaliyah's like, as the dead, and she holds up four fingers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that us uh, thinking five down to four type of thing? Yeah. Sorry. What uh, What does Jarzagon want? She just kind of like, head kind of flops over. The body's not oh. moving at all. I hate this, I hate this. Kill the chosen. Can you, can you say that? Can you say that more clearly? <laughs> Kill the no, chosen. No, 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 wait, stop. That wasn't a question. That was that was Kelly asking the DM. Yes, to I, say I that understand. I understand. Kill the chosen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she's like, <laughs> he's like, three. <laughs> Kill um, the chosen. Oh, the chosen. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So. Rand just kind of looks over at Quinn and Stream. Leah holds her fingers at three. Wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 we should like, plan this, right? Hey, We're uh, whispering, so we can't hear it. <laughs> yeah. Brennan yeah. writes down on his notebook real quick, is is Jargazon talking to Sabra Lyra? What does this say? <laughs> oh, oh, she can't. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that a question we need, though? Uh, uh, wait, what's the question? To Gwinest, I was kind wait, of pointing to Gwinestri. Wait, yeah. wait, I'll, 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 we're all whispering, by the way, so like, she can't hear it. Should we, should we ask... How can this? How can Jarzagon be defeated? Well, we could we could ask. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Like where is Jarzagon or something? Yeah, and how can we? How can he be killed? How how can we hurt Jarzagon? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Is that good? That maybe. Well, okay. we're still whispering. Do you want to ask if that's one of the voices in either Savalira and? When Estri's head? Does it matter? It would help I mean, her. She knows. Don't you know that one? She doesn't know it's Jarkus on, do you? Oh, Gwen Estri. <laughs> she walks over. Do you know if one of your voices is Jarkus on? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll okay. this whole time. We so we should. Maybe, so maybe we should ask. We should ask. How can why, we defeat? Like, or yeah. Why kill the Chosens, maybe? And then. Yeah, yeah. Why do you want to kill the Chosens? How can we kill Jarzagon? 
Um, what does he... Why is he doing this? Uh, no, or what, 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 does, what does unlock the door, get the keys mean? Okay. All right, right, those are three. Are you saying that all the time? Yes. I thought that Renan and her, we'll say, in that, wasn't she locked up at the training center? No. <clears throat> she was locked no, up. No, she wasn't. You guys misunderstood. I, my, right, I Mark, thought, Raya, I thought Raya and her were locked it up. It was <laughs> only Raya. Raya that was locked up. Uh, I mean, you know Raya was. You don't know about anybody else, so. There was like a whole, like, I remember that session where there was a whole thing where Kelly was really convinced that mm -hmm. he was locked up, but she wasn't. And Mark had clearly said, no, Raya's the only oh, one you've okay. seen. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I do remember She's that. the only one you know was locked up, but you don't know if anything Raya, else happened yeah. to her because you guys have spent a lot of time in your room, sure. so. Yeah, let's, let's ask that. Sure. I, that that's, I've always been under that assumption. Yeah, like, so I, what I, does I unlock that. the door get the keys mean? Lorith would know, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you, do you guys want to ask? You ask. Um, okay. Why do you want to... Why does he want to kill the Chosen? Like, why? Uh, the head kind of still looking at you says... <laughs> they are the only threats. I'm gonna pull him back real quick. Just okay. Just I like your questions. Just want to put out there. Should we ask anything if stopping at the church is gonna do anything, or if if those killing those roots defeats him, or anything like well, that? That's, that's well, we were asking how, how do we can how yeah, can we how defeat Jarzgon? That was question. Okay. Yeah, it could be two separate things. It's yeah. Yeah. Where is he? Yeah, that could be another question. But I don't. We're down to two. <laughs> Yeah. I think maybe the how is better than where, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay. We'll see what they say, yeah. Uh, how can we hurt Jarzagon? Um, you hear her still, like, looking at you. I'm trying to think how she would answer this. Tough one from Lorith's position, huh? She'll just say, You can't without them. Do we want to ask if he's in the temple? But we know something's in the temple, so I don't know if that's. I'm almost certain he's there, or at least his, yeah. the, the crux of his power. I think the key thing is a good idea. Or okay. We could ask that, or we could ask <clears throat> why Why with all these other people? Like, what is he doing with, what was he doing with all four of these people? He's trying to turn both tribes against. Yeah, I would say it's more like just kill. Because honestly, if they can kill, if they can kill either one of, either Gwen or Ren, that you know, already half their problems knocked out. I'm wondering if the more strife they have between them, the better it is. That's why they turn the councils against each other. Yeah. Okay. Do we, do we want to... I think it's a good Wait, idea. Should, yeah. should we ask if if Jarzagon was the one that turned the councils against each other? I mean, I know, I know that. That's kind of important. Yeah. Well, if she says it, then we can tell people about it. But, like, does that... I don't know if that matters, does it? I feel like the key one might be more... I look at Gwenastri. Do you want to know that question? <laughs> this might be useful. Okay. Because everyone's know. convinced. Everyone's mm. convinced it's not what we think. But if we say that Lorith said it herself... Sorry, I wasted a question, guys. Um... <laughs> no one else is going to believe us. We've already told them that anyway. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm down for either. I think both are right. I just saying yeah. it's still our word against theirs they haven't believed us before yeah, that's what Grenastri will say to us like <laughs> it's only for our own knowledge it's yeah. not for anything uh -oh. else that's what if I'm saying if we can do this in front of Sabrelira then yes but... oh yeah that's true okay. um okay Again, I guess we can do the yeah. key one let's do it uh I guess I'm asking the dead girl things so <laughs> what what does unlock the door 
or get the keys, get the keys unlock the door mean <clears throat> when she says that the voice just says <clears throat> rambling she hears in her head and she falls limp but the voice in her head is yeah so Jarzion, why is Jarzion saying that? Is she, can, she, can she still be tricky when she's <clears throat> dead? Ugh, oh, that was weird. Hey, Aaliyah, <laughs> hey, thank you. That was very nice of you. How many times can you do that to someone? Ask the dead. How can you do it again to her? <clears throat> she shakes her head. <clears throat> Only once? Okay. Ever, or maybe again tomorrow? She kind of like looks, ask the dead much later. Mm. Much later, okay. Halia, do you want the voices in your head to go away? The sun, the moon, the sun die, the moon die. She kind of, like, has this look of, like, kind of crazed that's kind of, like, as she looks at you you two. Mm. I don't think we can save her until we finish what we need to do. Yeah. Um. That would have been really great to hear in front of Cyberlira. We can take her body. She again. is going to shoot a spell at you, Renan. Counter spell. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going it to. It fizzles try, out. Start, I have the binds, the two that we used. I'm going to try. I'm going to tie her up again. I'm just going to knock her out with the mm -hmm. hilt of my okay. dagger. Yeah, just give me a quick attack roll just to make sure you can hit her. <laughs> uh, let's see, dagger's an eight, so. 13? She dodges you again. Uh, I'm going to. Give me an athletics or ac athletics for you, Raya, if you're going to try to restrain her. Yeah. Athletics? Yep. Lord, help me. Come on, roll good. Oh, I did work pretty good. Uh, 15. She wiggles away from you. You cannot grab her. Uh, uh, can I you counterspelled. You can do something as a turn now. Yeah. Um, can I just shoot a cantrip at her? Sure. You can make an attempt. Uh, yeah. I'm also gonna yell, don't kill her, Equinestry. <clears throat> Please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Please don't kill her. Tw 20s. 20s, yeah. Okay, you hit her and she'll fall to the ground. Can I do the thingy, yeah. the thingy? Run so she doesn't die. Stay the dang. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so she is unconscious again. It's weird to be the her. person. I'm like tying okay. her up again, and I'm like, it's weird to be the person that's kidnapping other people. I don't like it. Why'd she like help it us? Not being the one tied up. I guess. Why'd she help us though? I wonder. If, I don't know if she's in the right mind either way. That's true. Maybe she doesn't have much allegiance. It's just kind of whatever she. But she's hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <clears throat> Are okay. people not we trying probably... to stop her? We should definitely bring Laura's body though with us, right? Because. If she can do that in front of Sabrina, yeah. that could be helpful. Okay. Um, I don't want. Can I, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna move Esso's body to like the back seat, I guess, and then I'm gonna kind of throw Loris in the back and then like shove the trunk. <laughs> okay. I didn't want. I didn't want them next to each other. I don't know why. <laughs> It, okay. felt, it felt disrespectful. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. All the fans were gonna like, throw in, in the back. Car. Like the well, like at all. <laughs> okay, so you're yeah, grabbing yeah, Lord's gonna... body as well, throwing her in, okay. It's Weekend no, at as heels. Guys, don't we want to, like, sleep in this car? I was gonna sleep outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, me too. Is there, know. is there, like, a house? You know how there's, like, a bunch of houses? Is there any houses around here? Um, if you drive back a little ways, you could probably find something. Yeah, I remember last I... time he said not here, but maybe be back. Guys, we could even try and find a house to put her into, Aaliyah. That's and true. the bodies, maybe, and leave them, and then go take care of it, and then come back and get them. We, 
I think wherever we leave them, I think nine out of ten, <laughs> they won't be there when we get back. But we can, we can try. Or at least yeah. bring Ezdiel with us, maybe. Leave them. I don't know if we should bring Ezdiel with us. Mm. Like that, carrying around a body with everything else that's going on. And the roots might get it any. Yeah. I. Yeah. So. I'm just gonna throw some stuff out there so you guys have Help some us. thoughts here too. <laughs> We're dying. Uh, we can't even think anymore. You don't want to go back into the city, apparently. That's what you said. Well, it's gonna yeah. be harder, at least. But yeah. But there is yeah. plenty of city outside of the like the gates of the city. You also know that Helen lives outside those gates. Um, good. If you were looking for a potential ally who's there, uh, mm -hmm. you could just find any random house along the road on the way back if you'd want to do that. It's kind of up to you. If you want to try to sneak back into the city, you can do that as well. Were you like an opposite direction from where Jeremy was sleeping? Wasn't this the same way out this way? This is the or same side where Jeremy was sleeping. Yes. Mm. In the house where he was at, maybe? I mean, he was just in a tent in the backyard, but... Yeah. I mean, if we got... If Gwen was okay with going back to the city for the night... Because it's not that long of a drive, right? Like, so if we left mm. now, we rested at Spire, and then we went back in the morning... Wouldn't that Your worry is getting be the same though. thing? Yeah. But if Gwen, do you, do you know how to drive? If Gwen drove, then. Okay. No. Right, you can just, you can grandpa it up, right? Oh, you can. You can disguise can. yourself. Mm-hmm. I know, look too. like Ez, I guess. Mm-hmm. And we could take everything back. Or just a mm -hmm. spire guard, maybe. Yeah. I can do that. Should we do that? Let's just. I feel like we just have to make a plan. And just go with it. We don't. There's no amazing answers at this point. By the oh, way, really worry. The van too has a lot of scorch marks on it, as Ooh. it was in the middle of a fireball. Is so, it work like it works? You haven't tried, tried it. Yet. it yet. <laughs> I'm gonna. Try I'm gonna it? go over and try the engine. How's it looking? Okay. So you go to start the engine, and pff, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it revs up. It looks like it yeah. is still somewhat functioning. Up. That'd be it's really sad if it just explodes. <laughs> but no. The creepy oh crow. It's, <laughs> it sounds bad. like yeah. it is pretty rough, though, as there are all those roots that were just underneath it and were just, like, ripping okay. at it and pounding it. So you're hoping it will function. How, how far is Helen's house from here? Do we know? I don't want to put her in danger, guys. If Jargazon goes after any of the bodies... Or Aaliyah. We put someone innocent in danger. She can't defend herself. Yeah. I'd much rather leave them in a, an abandoned house if we're not going to go back to the city. Honestly, okay. I, I think in a, in a house, I think that's best of both worlds. Yeah, I'd say so. It's far enough Sign from the woods out. that they might not go after them. Jargazan might go <laughs> after them, but at least we're not endangering Spire and the, the Moon Elves right now. Okay. Hopefully, if everything goes well, we can get back to them tomorrow. Okay. Let's find a house then. We should probably get in and see if this thing even runs. <laughs> so like, are you are you okay with that, Karis? Yeah. What, Astri? Are you okay going in the morning? If that's your plan. Okay. I get in the driver's seat. I'm like, let's find a house. All right. So, yeah, Aaliyah and. Lorith in the back. I'll sit with them. Just because we're running out of space. We'll cover up Ezheel in the back. So that Gwenestri <laughs> can sit back there. And then we'll leave the two front. Okay. <clears throat> I'll be kind of be on the lookout. Especially for Goopy Crow. To make sure that it's not following us. Sure. You can give me a perception roll. Do you want to look out for Goopy Crow too? Raya. As While I'm tries. driving? <laughs> Yeah, can I? <laughs> yeah. Can I be doing it from the back? You can do it. Right I guess now. I can do. I guess I can do it from like the straight ahead. I suppose so. I got a ten. Okay, you can do it as a disadvantage uh, right if you want to do that, as you are distracted. <laughs> you said it was a perception, right? Yeah. I got a fourteen and fifteen, so seventeen. Okay. Am I still rolling or no? Because they had two, right? Yeah, if you want to. I'll give it to you. Guidance. I'll guide it. Sure. <clears throat> Go for it. Hey. Uh, perception, 13. Yep. Okay. What did you get, Karis? Uh, 10. Okay. 
So you guys are kind of driving along. I mean, Raya is facing forward, so it's whatever's in front of her that she's looking at. Um, and you guys don't see any crow. Okay. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be looking out um, for just like a good house that's like, not the very first one you could go to, but like maybe just one that looks suitable and sturdy and all that stuff. I guess whatever I find. Okay. So you start pulling out as you're driving. And it's rough. Like this. This car needs to see a mechanic. <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of slow going. You're hearing like this weird kind of like sound of thumping happening like every time you you're like you're just driving. It seems like the things are just pounded at this vehicle and it's it's pretty rough. You actually hear like a piece of metal like fall off on the road as you're going at one point. You look back and there's like a big like pipe or something that's just gone. You're like, okay, I, I hope, hope we, we hope didn't we... need that. I think we needed it. No, no, we're good. But there's a lot of smoke you, coming out though. You kind of start to sputter, and it's the exhaust is extremely loud at this point. And, uh, out the back. <laughs> uh, but you do eventually find a little farmhouse type thing that you can pull into, and um, it looks like suitable the, the roof is in all right shape it's not the best there's a lot of kind of overgrowth here but you pull in just want to say it out loud before we left ren grabbed a shield just saying. yeah you have all your we stuff have left without it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. all right so you pull in find a spot to rest down okay uh, i'll check underneath the car is there any like vines still there we clear out or is it just damage to it uh, there are some, like, little bits hanging off of things, but they're all detached. There's nothing's attached to anything. Okay, I'll just try and clean up whatever I can just to see if it helps at all, but... Sure. So you knock it off your pieces and they just kind of lie there on the ground. But there's a lot of damage, it looks like. And a big, like, pipe, it looks like it's broke off. And you're like, huh, that's probably ah. where that came from. Okay. That's mm. But no liquids coming out? Not that Ren understands too much of it, but... Uh... There's a few things that are leaking out. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Um, I guess, yeah, I'll, we'll just, I'll move the bodies, or we'll start moving bodies, like, into the farmhouse. And then, um, yeah, just, I'll try and hide the car best I can, I guess. Or we can try to hide the car behind something. I don't know, just make it kind of not so visible. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Behind the house off the road or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you bring the bodies inside. You guys just resting? Is that your plan? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I, I think I'll even be like, maybe we should put Ez's body in a different place. So even if someone broke Agreed. in to get That's true. Uh, yeah. Aaliyah, then they wouldn't take Ez. Are there any other farm ho or houses around or no? I mean, you want to drive to another one? This is a two-story no. building, too. You could... Like put something on a second floor and first floor. Yeah, maybe we could put. Yeah, we could put like as on the second floor or something. Okay, like a back room. Maybe mm -hmm. do for the door lock or something like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we'll carry him upstairs and try and put him somewhere safer, like tucked away. Yeah, you like, find you find a room with a bed. I mean, it's covered in dust and everything right now. But <laughs> you lay him down on this bed, and I mean, it's it's pretty rough seeing him there. He's mm. pretty badly bruised up and mm -hmm. getting cold at this point, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna do it tonight. <clears throat> oh, I can't. Never mind. I, I had, it's gonna have to be after the long rest. <clears throat> but, yeah, you guys can kind of bed down and prepare for sleep. Are want. we gonna try and like double sleep it? Is that the idea? Like, sleep now and then stay up throughout the night? I mean, it's going to be Wait, pretty hard just to fall asleep, because, I mean, if you ever tried that before, it's very hard to fall asleep if you're not tired. But That's kind of what I was like. Well, I mean, we also just but, had an exhausting fight of almost dying. But yeah. yeah, I mean, you're all pretty tired, so, like, you could probably nap or something for a little bit and just take it easy and do that until morning. But mm -hmm. it's up to you. you guys we'll sleep at a full rest, time. though, right? Yeah, if you guys make it through this, yeah. <laughs> so worried about. Uh, um, Ren's, Ren's gonna fall asleep at some point during the day to try and get his stuff up, or at least during the day. Okay. He's so gonna be praying to the sun spirit. Alright. Just thinking about Gwen. 
telling it not to tell her what to do, but if you can aid us. Sure. Anybody else do anything special or just taking it easy? What well, also just watching obviously Aaliyah, like making sure we're just keeping an eye on her. Hey guys, we get we gagged her again, tied her up all that stuff, so yeah. If y'all are staying up while I sleep, I don't know how you guys want to do this, but if she does wake up, can you ask her about the crow? Maybe if she knows who if that belongs to someone or if that's someone else's. Yeah. And then I can try and stay up later while you guys sleep or something. Go and watches. And just so I'm really worried about stuff coming after us tonight. We're a big target right now. Yeah, I know. <sighs> okay. Alright. I think if it looks like at one point Raya's like watching uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 Leah? Leah, I'm probably going to go find a closet and cry there for like a while. Okay. And then I'll go back. Yeah. A lot of tears. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you're watching over Leah and Brennan, you go to pray. I'm going to probably go sleep where, um, where Ezreal is. Okay. Uh, give me a charisma <clears throat> check. This one with disadvantage. 17. 15. Charisma check. <clears throat> yep. 18. 18. Nice. All right. I'm guessing no guidance. I mean, I'm sleeping and all that. Or yeah, ready yeah. To sleep in. yeah. So, you start kind of praying to the the sun uh, spirit and just hoping to connect. If that's that figure that you've connected with before, <clears throat> and you just kind of feel this warmth as you pray. Thank you. She saved us really strong sleep but uh, Raya I guess you're the only one who is currently <clears throat> watching as Karis seems to be crying off somewhere disappeared yeah. to the house somewhere yeah you don't know she's off crying somewhere she disappeared into the house somewhere she just mumbled she's gonna go for a walk for some reason and like darted off so okay. you can give yeah. me a perception roll as you watch <laughs> Um, 16. Okay. Yeah, it's... It's very quiet here. Um, Too quiet? I mean, it's... It's it's definitely a very, like, heavy quietness. Just as what happened during the day. And kind of recounting what happened in your mind. And watching everything happening. Especially, like, <clears throat> as he'll... Kind of mm -hmm. the way he went. And... It's that heaviness that like hangs in the air. Feels like the whole house is just kind of feeling it right now. And you're in this like foreign, really run down, sad looking building right now too, and I don't know. But it's quiet otherwise. You don't hear anything else. Okay. Until a few hours into the watch, uh Aaliyah starts to stir again. Um But she just kinda like Rolls to her side and kind of slides up in the sitting mm -hmm. position. Just kind of stares ahead at you. Okay. I'm just going to do like a wave or whatever. She just starts like, muttering and with the, the gag in her mouth. Yeah. I'm just going to tell her, you, you tried to get away again. We can't, we can't leave you untied. Sorry. She just stares ahead at you, muttering. <laughs> I'll just kind of try and like... I mean, she's staring, I'm a little uncomfortable, so I kind of just kind of, like, I'm, I'm, like, watching, but, like, kind of like, trying to watch my periphery, so I'm just sort of, like, I'll look back at her every few seconds, maybe, but just kind of, like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna sit here. She does not <clears throat> looked away from you. She just is staring at you, muttering something, okay. hair just hanging in her face. Okay, I'll just kind of, um, we're gonna sit with the discomfort and just kind of let it wash over me. For a while, I think I think I'd probably try. I'd probably try and just stare at her again for like back, just for like a while. But I feel like she'd win, and to like, kind of get uncomfortable. 
<laughs> but yeah, you, <clears throat> the the day kind of continues to progress. I don't know if anybody else switches out or wants to sleep, but I would sleep eventually, probably. But whenever anyone comes back, so yeah. Where's Gwen right now, by the way? <clears throat> uh, Gwen is just kind of like sitting outside, just kind of looking out into the the wilderness areas the surrounding area around this farmhouse. Okay. It's just hanging out outside. I think I would eventually <laughs> trudge out of the closet. Okay. Scared. You kind of come down and see uh, Aaliyah just staring at Raya muttering to herself. It's like <laughs> looking at them. Do you want to switch me out eventually? I don't know how much more of this I can do. <laughs> mm hmm. I just like trudge over and sit down. I'll probably go sleep or whatever just for a little bit if I haven't yet, just to get my full rest, I guess. Sure. So you go find a place to get some rest. <laughs> mm hmm. Anybody remember the goopy crow question? <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, I, no, I, I, I mean, I would. I just got there, though. Yeah. Just, you know, meta burning it, that's all. Since it's a crow. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, right, you go to sleep, and Karis, you're just kind of sitting there, and now she's staring at you. Muttering to herself. Hey, I got a question. But I can still do the thing. So spells aren't going to work, okay? Take gag up. She just looks at you. The sun, the moon, dead. Yeah. Dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Dead. Yep. Okay. Dead. Hey, uh, that weird crow thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? She just keeps saying dead. Uh, it. Whose crow was that? Whose crow was that? She just keeps saying dead. Okay, this is pointless. Hey, are you thirsty? I like hold that water. She'll look at it and just kind of make a motion towards it. Okay, so I'll give her water and stuff. Okay. And food if we have it. So. Okay. But yeah, she just kind of keeps muttering to herself. Until eventually she kind of looks like she's starting to fall asleep and she just leans into a corner and kind of conks out. Okay. I probably push like, her hair out of her face. I feel bad for her. Yeah, and you see kind of this, like, very innocent-looking girl that's underneath all that hair, the tangled mess of hair. And, I mean, there's lots of, like, little things that are caught in the hair. doesn't look like she takes care of herself much at all. I take them out. And, I mean, underneath all this is just, like, this very kind of sweet and nice-looking girl that's just lying there peacefully sleeping. Yeah. I I try to clean her up best I can, and then I kind of just curl up and stare for a while. Okay. I don't know if Gwen ever comes back in, but... Yeah, she seems to just be content sitting outside right now. Cool. But, I mean, the day continues to go on. Ren and you eventually wake up from your rest. We so get a full rest? You've completed a full rest. A long rest. So, kind of... I know it's a crunchy mechanical question. I'm just, just asking because I'm trying to figure out whether to waste it now or not. Um, would I? Would he get the idea since he can meditate and then nap for like another four hours instead of the full eight? If I use one spell slot now, would I might be able to get it back by morning? Yeah, you could do it. Okay. It's still not like fully evening yet, so if you just kind of took yeah. the night easy too, you could do it that way. Okay, that's kind of what I was hoping. Um, he's going to kind of get up from his sleep. Kind of just meditating, and he's probably spent the meditation over her holding Ezreal's hand and just just saying I'm really sorry 
and say a little prayer in Elvish, and um, it's gonna cast gentle repose on him. All right. And just kind of close his eyes and just look at him and I'm not ready to give up on you. You didn't give up on me. I'm back for you. Uh, and I'll, uh, yeah. So as you cast this, you watch just kind of this like very thin, like almost sheet of moonlight kind of spreads over him and just kind of wraps him up, almost like it's a very thin like piece of linen just covering his body and wrapping around him and looking like it's. <laughs> I know I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing its effects to help him uh, prevent the decomposition that would naturally happen. Uh, it says it in here that that's what I have to do for the materials. But yeah, I'm taking kind of the moon orb and then just kind of taking two silver pieces on his eyes and having them glow with that. Mm -hmm. So she'll look over you just like she's looking over everyone else. Find a way. And then I'll go back downstairs and just like wipe in tears. Yeah, you find Kara sitting there, kind of keeping watch over Leah. And I mean, Leah looks more put together than you've probably seen her since uh -huh. the first days. And she's kind of peacefully resting there in the corner. I just go sit down next to Kara's because. Raya, you're off asleep, right? She's sleeping, yeah. Yeah. I'm and asleep. you're curled up on the floor with your hoodie up, I'm guessing. Is that what you said? Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm like sitting down, you know, I'm like Oh, okay. Like, I thought I'm you were like, like... No, no, no. It's not that extreme, or something. But it's more like, you know, when you're sitting like this. And yeah, okay. I wasn't like sure if that was right like now. Rachel during break between games sort of no, thing. Just no, like no. Playing. <laughs> no, it's not that extreme. Because she has to be on watch and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, he just goes sits next to her. Very reminiscent of when he sat next to um, Gwenastri at the church. But, you know, I've always wanted to help her. She's the reason why I know how to heal. No, what? What? Remember at the training center? Mm -hmm. you, I could tell she was losing control, but she hurt Rodden, and that's when I found out I could heal. Remember that. I know you're not okay, neither am I, but... Thanks for sticking with me through all this. I don't want to risk you guys, but I don't think we can do this without each other. Everybody here. I think we have a chance to do some a lot of harm against them today. Against Jargazon and maybe we can save some people. Yeah, I at least I feel like maybe we sort of could do this one. You know. I don't know. Like we can't do anything with Column or Rodden or any of that, so might as well try this one. Each step forward is something. I think Gwenestri got free from him, so we can free the Sun and Moon Elf spirits. They can help us maybe free Rodden. Stop Column. Yeah, maybe. Save your mom. She's so sulky. Proud of you. We've really grown up. Thanks. 
I don't feel like I grew up, though. I just feel like I don't think anything's gonna work out anymore. <laughs> so, I don't know. Welcome to, uh, being on the cusp of being an adult. That's how we all feel. Yeah. But yeah. After this, we're gonna go get Rodden. We'll find a way. Eventually, I'm not saying, like, right away, but whenever we can find a way, we will. Yeah. All he has to say. What? No, I was just saying that's that's all I have to. The Ren has hey. to say unless she has anything. We'll just sit there and let me go get some sleep. I just felt bad about us. I guess. I'm not giving up on him, Karis. I, I'm not going to use the beacon's resources, but... I think I can... keep him in this state for now. Make sure... maybe in the future, once I figure this out, maybe I can bring him back. You know? Whether Hibbert can do it, maybe I can do it. Like, are we just kidding ourselves? <laughs> like, because... Ez is dead. And sure, we can find another diamond. But then who's gonna blame us for something that we did? Because everyone is, like, mad at us with bro Brother Hibbert now. And then he is, like, paying for it. And... Even, like, Aetherian's dead. And I feel really bad about it. Because he seems like... A he reminded me of Rodden. Yeah. And... No one likes Mr. Shaw for some reason, even though he's trying really hard, and a bunch of people keep dying, and I just don't really know why we're pretending like we're going to do this. It doesn't seem like we're doing anything. It just seems like everyone's dying, and then blaming us for it, and then other people get blamed for it, and I'm really tired of it. And we can't say Rod in. No, we can no, it's not going to happen. You calling me a liar? Yes, I am calling you a liar. I don't lie. You're lying to yourself. You, see, you didn't. See, you don't remember how bad Colin beat us. I know how many times we failed, and I've died. I know how many times we couldn't do this. But I also know how many people we've helped. And how far we've come. And how much you guys had my back. I have yours. Every step in the light that we take into darkness. That means that darkness is scared. They're but not scared. I'm scared. Don't tell anyone. I won't. <laughs> and be scared. You don't think I haven't been terrified this whole time? Oh, well, yeah, you've been terrified. I know that. <laughs> but. That doesn't mean you can't do this. Doesn't mean that we don't have hope. That's what this is all about. We have been given whatever a curse or a blessing or powers. It doesn't matter what people think, as long as we keep on doing what's right. And that's what you have taught me. I was willing to give up and go too far. And it's going to get harder. I can't tell you it's going to get easier. But the moon and the sun and... Raz, Raya, it's not for no reason. How do you know that oh, it feels like it's for no reason? You almost died again, like, a bunch of times. And I didn't, because you were there to help me.
I don't know if even this moon lady is real. And if they're right, maybe I'm trapping her. Maybe I'm making her up. But it doesn't matter. I think she's real. And I think we can do good. And that faith in my promise to that, to keep you all safe. And I gave you my promise when I first met you to save Rodden. That's what's driving me forward. I don't care what happens to me. Well, I don't care I... what happens to me, so it just keeps going like that. Then... That's why we all have each other's back. It's good. Like that, so... On your thunder punch shadow. I was Monster. waiting for another name. <laughs> You're awesome. Oh. You got this. Takes out a seashell. Seashell. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere you go, you find just this joy and something special in something that everyone else overlooks. That's literally what you're doing when you connect to Gwenestri and what you see in Aaliyah and Aetherian and even Lorith and Sabralira. When the rest of us are willing to just give up on them, you don't. So don't give up on yourself. You do that. What? How do you not give up on yourself? You have to find your own way to do that. You can rely on other people and lean on them when you have doubts, but find something that's important to you. Your, your dad, Carter, Rodden, helping people, stopping the darkness and the demons having a purpose. We can cure it. Iron Fist champion. Demons are scared I of you. Am... I'm not the champion. Carter's the champion. Ah, you would have been champion if I hadn't intervened. If you hadn't intervened? I think I got you disqualified that one time. I think you would have Oh, yeah, that champion. one time. I disqualified myself because stupid Shadow like tried to kill that guy, so... With magic, you could take Carter. He killed Steven? Yeah, I think that's... I don't tell him. Oh, well. He's a little teddy bear inside, I could tell. Little teddy... Oh, don't tell him that. I know. He's we'll a tough exterior, but he's got, he's got a heart to him. Yeah, he's nice. Okay. Do it for them. They believe in you. Yeah. They'd be dead if it wasn't for you. So would I. Yeah. I'm just sad a lot now, and I don't like it. And yeah. I'm sad that other people keep dying. <sighs> He uh, takes out his moon orb and puts it in her hands. Hopefully, you and I can stop that from ever happening again. And if it does, we're going to keep on fighting until the people that hurt, the ones that we love, are stopped. Can I talk to Moon Lady? Go for it. Okay. Cool. She likes you. Yes. She said hi that one time. I know. I mean, I can try and talk to the sun guy. So I mean, you can try. You talk to Luminous. Talk to the you? sun guy. Well, mm -hmm. a little bit. Doesn't do it that often. Should I try? Often. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Just go like hi, sun guy. Yeah. Is that how you do it? That's what I do. I just 
just like you and I talking now or how you send your message. You just close your eyes and think about them and talk to them. Just as if they're right next to you. Usually I have to fall asleep to do it too, but. Oh yeah. That's kind of my turn anyway, I think. Maybe, unless you want me to stay up with you for a little bit till Raya gets up. Okay, friends up, I think. Mm-hmm. Should I do sun and moon? Is that too much? I've tried. Okay, I'll try both. I believe in you, Karis. A lot. A lot. I don't think you realize how much I believe in you. I think you have been the better half of Ryan and I. Third math. I'm really tired. Half is right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've kept us on a kept us doing good when both of us would have stopped. Mostly just yell at you guys. I'm probably kind of faint. But at the time, you're right. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Oh. Kick this stupid guy's butt at the temple, okay, Ren? And don't die, because I'm going to be so mad at you. You can send Raz after me. So mad. Yeah, I will. Look, I've always wanted a family. And a brother or sister. You have one sister. You have brought. No. I do now. And you have your dad now. But you were my little sister before that. Raya's kind of like my big sister, too. You guys are family to me. So. Don't lose hope. You're like family to me too, by the way. I think my dad also adopted you into his heart. Because he always wants you to be safe now too. Mr. Samo is pretty cool. Oh, <gasps> don't. Alright, get out of here. Go sleep. Okay. So, Can case. I like hold this still? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you go find a Sorry. room? Mm -hmm. After asking if you can still keep the stone, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her keep it. Okay. So you get up. I'll add. go to a room nearby if you can let me that way in case something happens. He, I can run and give him. His yeah, you get up and start walking, and as you kind of turn a corner, you see Gwynestri kind of just sitting in the hallway. Looks like she was sitting there listening to the conversation you guys were having. Just in oh, really? Adjacent hallway, but yeah, she's just sitting there. Um, and. But you can go past or whatever you want to do. But oh, hi! She just looks at you. Hi. You go okay. Just preparing myself for what's to come. Are you nervous? Yeah, one way or another, this all ends. I'll do what I can to help you. Thanks. We'll help you too, Gwen, because I, even if you don't remember very well, we seriously are friends. We even have the pinky promise thing. If you wanted to do it, we could do it right now. <laughs> she just like looks at you and holds out her pinky. She looks like cheered up by 20%. <laughs> Red and 1%, 19% pinky promise. <laughs> Red and gave, paved the way. I taught you guys that. <laughs> <laughs> You can go if find a spot to... Should... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna... As she's leaving, she'll just say, if you're nervous, you should talk to Ren. He gets real good pep talks. Yeah, and Ren, you can hear all this because it's just in the hallway next to you. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he has a smile on his face. 
But there's a dagger. Like Paris out. realizes. <laughs> I find a room, yes. So yeah, you'll go and lay down. Uh, you're praying, right? Mm hmm. Give me a charisma check disadvantage. For Moon Lady or Sun? Oh, you said both, so you can do. I am doing both, yes. You could just give me a disadvantage one. Okay. Oh, man. I didn't do good. I got a eight. Okay. I mean, you don't really hear any voices or anything, but as the sun kind of is setting on the side of the house you're on, you can feel, like, the warmth of the sun through the window. But you fall asleep with that? Oh, clutching the moonstone. Mm-hmm. Uh... I think I have to see I... it, don't I? Can I, um... Is there any way... I probably can't be able to see it. I was gonna say, is there any way I could have dancing lights happen in the orb to make it look like it glows a little <laughs> bit while she's praying? It's so mean. Okay. <laughs> um... That'd inspire her a little bit. She's in another room, though. That's the only. Thing. Yeah, that's that's know. the difficult part about it. If it's not easy, he's not gonna attempt it. But just yeah. he's trying to figure out a way to maybe brighten her up a little bit. Look, it worked. <laughs> yeah, it, it'd be a little difficult. Yeah, give me, fun. give me just a. Uh, your your spell casting is charisma, right? Give me just a charisma check. Nineteen. All right. So you just kind of, like, go near the door and kind of peek through the crack, and you can kind of quietly mutter it, and just it begins to glow for a second. Garrus as it's focused there. Uh, you can give me uh, an intelligence check. <laughs> Hell, that's even better. You got an 11. Okay. Yeah, it's very exciting. This is happening. It's It's very bright, too. It's kind of interesting so like you probably see her like laying there like holding the moonstone and then like you see like her whole body like jolt she's looking at it so like, yeah. as it jolts <laughs> the orb moves out of the light <laughs> <laughs> and then follows it to the spot and you're like oh i think i'll just drop it <laughs> okay yeah it disappears at that point and you kind of begin to realize, maybe that's something else. <laughs> there might be a shuffle of footsteps away from the door. <laughs> Let the door, like, like jerks open all the way. <laughs> Brennan's just standing there awkwardly in the hallway. I was just, oh, just hey, like... Hey there, how the... How the, how the are you praying? Are you just going to... Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Why is she just holding it, looking at it? What? He's fully trying to deceive her. What? What's up? Does your moon orb ever glow lights and doesn't stay in the moon yeah, orb? Don't you see when I cast spells and smites, it lights up. Right? Not like that! I'm suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Smack sits down. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to do as you're resting up? Any conversations to be had? I think for me, Ryan. No, I, I feel like I'm considering praying, but I don't know if I don't know if I will because I'm like I, I'm not religious at all, but I'm kind of like I'm on the eve of something bad. I feel like yeah. I'll shoot, I'll shoot a prayer out. I don't know where, but just, kind of just a general, like, maybe sun and moon, whoever takes it. Okay. So, you can give me a charisma check with disadvantage. Have you I've heard, never heard from you? From moon lady? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> disadvantage? Yes. Uh... Well, that everyone's trying, though. We're just, you know, we gotta, we gotta do... Oh, just sorry, I don't know what I'm... My brain is completely dead at this point. Um, sixteen. Sixteen. So by the time you uh, 
wake up and you start to do your prayer after your rest. Mm. Um, you you realize that your room is pretty light because there's a lot of mm -hmm. moonlight pouring in <clears throat> through the as you're praying, and you're just kind of like you just kind of feel this sort of presence of something with you. Okay. There's nothing audible, nothing crazy and supernatural that happens, but just kind of calming. Okay. I'm kind of like, okay, so I like this. I get it <laughs> a little bit because I don't really do it very often. Okay. Yeah, it's light. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that's all. I just wanted to give it a shot. Okay. Um, but yeah, you guys just taking it easy the evening too? Mm-hmm. I don't think what? Ren's going to probably try and force too much with Gwynastri and just, just gives her a smile. So I'll give you one of those like half smiles back, but still just kind of sit there and find a spot to lay down eventually and to get some rest herself. Um, she takes a little bit of time to clean herself up too, just because she's been traveling a lot. Yeah, I'm going to give her like one of my rations and stuff like that. Rations? Um, but yeah, you guys start getting to the evening. I mean, Aaliyah wakes up in the night and she just kind of like twitchy a little bit and muttering to herself while bound up still. And, um, <laughs> the hair kind of slowly begins to fall back into her face as she's there. And, um, still not used to it. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like she's wide awake now into the evening. Anything else you guys want to do? I mean, I'm a. That's when I sleep is in the evening. So. Yep. Yeah, so you're resting. For me. Mm-hmm. At some point, I'm guessing maybe after Raya would get back up, he'll try and get his four hours in. Okay. Again, but and then the rest of the time just kind of meditating and trying to keep watch and listening. All right. So Raya, you're left alone. In the evening to watch. Uh, give me a perception roll with this advantage. You can always get me Definitely. up too, like for watches, especially at night, because I can see in the dark. Yeah, you, I want to go to bed before? until we've like figured something out. Yeah, I'll. I guess, Karis, have you slept a decent amount or no? I mean, you can. She just... would go into the evening a little bit, but. Yeah, I mean, you could wake me up in the middle, like for a second watch, basically. If you want. I'm gonna stay up to like the last four hours. Is what I'm gonna okay. do. So I'll, I'll keep watch with that <laughs> while she sleeps and she gets up. Okay. Okay. Am I rolling disadvantage or am I doing? I mean, you have your light stone, but uh, yeah, you could just roll straight for this one. Perception, you said? Yep. Um, I literally, there was a 12 in the dice and I literally, oh, it was upside down. I was like, 21. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. 15. Okay. Yeah, it's, again, you just hear some wind blowing, some of the brush kind of rustling, but nothing's creepy. It seems very quiet. The calm before the storm or something. Mm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But you have a, you all have a quiet night. Nothing else really seems to happen besides Aaliyah just kind of muttering to herself and seeming... Seemingly very <laughs> nocturnal, this girl. Uh, but you guys all awaken the next morning. Refreshed. Spells refreshed. Abilities refreshed. Kind of realizing that you guys made plans for today. I'm going to go over to Aaliyah and... We're gonna leave you here for your safety. We want to help you, and I think we can. I think we can. Maybe you can go back to your bakery for this. And he's gonna put down some rations um, <clears throat> and like his water skin and stuff or whatever he has with him, knowing she can't use it right now. But we'll be back for you. I promise. 
she just is still muttering with something in her mouth, bound up still. Yeah. I mean, probably in the morning before we left, I probably would have given her water and food too. Just, oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just to always say. <laughs> so like, you're, like, you never yeah. told us you fed her. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, I was making sure to feed her, give her water, but then I'm leaving some there just in case she breaks <laughs> out and just mm -hmm. trying to help her. And then, as he'll upstairs, she's trying to close that door, keep it separate. Okay. Taking Lorith with us? Or are we leaving her here? I don't know why we'd take her with us. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Stuff her in a closet somewhere. In the cry closet. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? Oops. It's out of character. <laughs> I thought he knew. I was like, what clothes? What are you talking about? No, I I'd cry in there. It's a real good yeah. cry spot. <laughs> no. Yeah, Gornestri kind of brings herself in, all looking prepared to go and travel today. <clears throat> okay. Hey. Are we ready to go kick jars on God's butt? Yeah. Or die trying. <laughs> you guys get out of there if you need to. It's only the two of us that have to be there. Ha ha ha. It's real funny. All right, let's go. You guys could always come back to save us, you know? Not like we all have to die. <laughs> go get Sabralira. Oh, yeah, she's a real help. <laughs> yes, I think that'll go really well. <laughs> she wants both of us alive so we can kill each other. So That's true. Worked one That's time. That's true. Yeah, it did work one time. Let's bring Shaw in. I'm just saying, I don't want you guys to die for our cause. There's mm -hmm. the city and other people that are relying on you guys. But thank you, either way. I don't think we'd have a chance without you. I wouldn't have been here without you guys. So. I know that new thing now, so maybe it will help. Thanks, Aaliyah. Muttering to herself. <laughs> <laughs> it means you're welcome. <laughs> okay, do you feel okay, Gwen? Are you ready? Let's do this. I'm ready. Okay. So. Do you guys all get in the car and go? Mm-hmm. All right. The car is Go Gooby Crow? Wait, it's really fast. Gooby Crow check. Sure. Perception. Yeah, out. Gooby Crow check. Ah! Okay. Nope. <laughs> uh, perception. Yep. Uh, 18. All right. You do not see any Gooby Crow. Okay. We're going to attempt to drop the car. Okay. You start to up the car, hoping it will go. It sputters a little bit. But eventually gets going. Oof. Wait, how far away did we drive though? Not super far. Do we do we want to just leave this here, for the drive back to the city, and not like kill it? How long will it take on foot, Mark? Do we do we guess? To get there on foot, uh, yeah, from more. here it might be. Half a day ish. You're not oh, sure. Oh, yeah. That's just yeah, that's, that's at least drive to where we lost that other. Car. Okay, okay. I didn't. I don't remember how long it takes to get anywhere. I don't think Jargazan is going to care about a car as much as us. I mean, I'm just yeah. talking about the car dying. Okay, that's fine though. Let's do it. All right. So you guys all pile in to this pile of bolts, metal. It's barely holding itself together. Uh. Somebody who wants to be the magic person who rolls me a d20. You know, I will. <laughs> I will. Go for it, Kelly. 15. 15. So you're driving along. It's sputtering along, holding up. And about, like, maybe three quarters of the way of where you want to be, it starts to break down. And... Is it still going or pieces falling off? The car feels like like it just like starts sputtering and then eventually just like starts slowing to a stop. 
and you're like, this might be the end of the road <laughs> for this oh, vehicle. Riding it out all the way to the end. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, that's our cue. Let's get out. <laughs> but you guys are in the middle of the forest now. Like, you've entered the forest. The dark are we kind following of overhang. the road? Is that what we're doing? Are that kind of like where we got to the sun elves and going straight in, or...? I mean, there's no other way to get to the sun house besides the road. So if you yeah. okay. don't take the road, like, you have to get out before you can get into the woods. So. I gotcha. Yeah. So, like, at least we're kind of halfway in the woods before we go. Yep, you're part way part in the woods. As we're entering this whole place, do we see the car <laughs> we left behind? So you were trying to get Not there. there you're about 75% there. Okay, so I want to be looking for the car, though, as we're, yeah. like, where we left it. So you're going to stay on the road, walking ahead. Basically. I think the concern last time was being caught by the guards by the Sun Elf. So, yeah, yeah we, I mean, yeah, we I'm don't. Down, but we were. We want, like we right want off to. The road. Avoid, yeah. We want to avoid. I mean, this going through the Sun Elf Village, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So the car is before the Sun Elf Village. A good yeah, way is before it too. You were yeah. okay, well cool. outside of it. So. Exactly. Um, so you guys. But, I mean, yeah, we should be able to recognize it. Right? Continue to walk down the road, uh, on foot now through the woods as the trees kind of begin to block out the view of the sun even though like a lot of the leaves have fallen like it still is pretty thick branches that be kind of get darken the area around you uh, might be looking out for that like plant that we're supposed to be looking for for helena or is that only south i can't remember you can roll sure perception rolls i mean basically you guys all want to be watching so you can all give me a perception roll yeah yeah, I'm just mainly looking for that at the moment. Nine. Ah. We're like four 15s in a row. It's really weird. Uh, 18. <laughs> Natural 20. That's what I needed it for. <laughs> all right. 23. So, you guys are all looking. Unfortunately, Brennan, there is nothing that seems to be growing well here. Yeah, I didn't think like, so. Okay. Everything seems to be pretty much on a decline of life, and there's not much greenery. It's mostly like, no brownish. Berries either, right? This way. You do not see any berries. Yeah. But as you kind of walk a little bit, you do spot the car. It's covered up a little bit with some brush, but you do spot the car up ahead. Undamaged? Whoa. It looks like it is pretty much intact. It looks like it hasn't been touched, like, the way we rearranged everything? Uh, it looks mostly the same. There's, like, a little bit of brush that maybe has moved in a few places, but otherwise, just like you remember it. Let's mess with it when we get back in case yeah. it's trapped or anything. Uh-huh, but, uh-huh. I mean, it's but good to know. But there, maybe we could give it back to Mr. Sean. He'll be so happy with us, and then he won't be sad that we cost him so much monies. Yep. It's first concern of ours. You just feel bad about it. No, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> just, you know, like halfway on the list. Uh, There's, like, one thing we can do, though, you know? <laughs> hey, cross off anything we can, man. <laughs> yeah. At this point with the vehicle, you're kind of met with the choice of keep walking forward down the road, which would lead to the Sun Elves and kind of their hunting area, mm -hmm. or branch off into the woods more and start heading towards the, t the temple. Would What's the most direct path to the temple? Branching off would be the most direct way to get there. Yeah, I think that's what yeah. we're thinking. Mm -hmm. The woods might come after us, but at least we're keeping the village safe for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, as you guys leave, I need all of you to give me stealth rolls. I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to be a lot more quieter at this point. Uh, oh, 17. I don't have disadvantage, right? That was only the heavy armor? Yeah, you don't have heavy armor, I know, do you? So. Okay. I kind of just remember <laughs> if the medium armor gave it to me or not. I don't remember it if it does. No. I don't think it does. Doesn't matter. Cool. Uh, 19. 19? Mm -hmm. Can't guide it, so it's right. Because it's ongoing. What do you get? That's that's a five. Five. Okay, what'd Back you get, Karis? Right 19. 19. And Rai, you got 17, I think? 17. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, also, Gwen seems like she's pretty quiet. So she's got 21. She's moving along pretty much silently. <laughs> Overall, you guys are pretty quiet. Uh, Renan definitely is the loudest one of the group. But you guys want me to be in the back or like the front? Whispering so loud. Sorry, I'm sorry. 
but like eating <laughs> granola bar. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of leaves that you just kind of, like, step right through these dry, crunchy leaves at times, but... Ron is going... Or Ron, <laughs> Ren's going straight back to uh, baby days. Speaking of baby days. Baby <laughs> days! Branches slapping in the face, just... <laughs> but you guys continue to push forward. Most of it pretty quiet. Um, as a party, you guys seem to be doing pretty well stealth wise but you continue to push forward through the woods and it gets darker and more rotted looking as you press forward towards the temple little peaks of sunlight will poke through here and there kind of reminding you of maybe some presence that's with you guys Gwynestri has this look of determination as she pushes forward to, uh, with a little bit of fear probably, kind of hidden there, but definitely some determination. But you guys continue to move forward closer and closer to the temple, ready for whatever will be there. And that is where we're going to pick up next week, is the rest of the journey towards the temple our death <laughs> and possibly your death <laughs> we'll possibly see. Death. oh man but yeah <laughs> the heaviness is heavy yeah. the heaviness is heavy <laughs> great line <laughs> heaviness That's is heavy exactly how I, feel. I don't think there's more <laughs> accurate description it's 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 weighing down on your soul the uh -huh. heaviness so but yeah we'll pick up next week that's gonna continue. So, not think we'd have this fight without Ezreal. This is mm -hmm. rough. It's hard. This is definitely, uh, gonna be interesting. So, uh, we'll see you all next week for you guys. Right now, it's two weeks for us, but next yeah. week for you guys. Uh, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. There may or may not be a raid that happens here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so stick around for that but if you are watching on YouTube come join us on Twitch and join the fun that's there and hang out with us there but we appreciate you all have a great rest of your week and we'll see you next time goodbye everybody bye